Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. It's lovely to have so many of you here so early in the morning. Yeah, it seems like the sheep dropper is not working right now, which is kind of confusing. Uh, I tried restarting it. It must just be having like a server issue, unfortunately. It works when I press the test button, like when I do these. Boom! But yeah, for some reason, actual like member sheep just are not working today. They're not falling. So, we're without our sheep dropper. <laughs> but good morning, everybody. Hope you've all had a good start to the day, unless this is the end to your day, in which case, I hope you had a good, wonderful day. Seen a lot of people having fun at AR Live. Oh my god. Wait. Is that what broke it? No. That, it might have been too many gifted membership before the stream started. We got a lot of gifted membership today, so thank you all so much. I'm glad to see that you guys have been looking forward to this. As you all know, I'd imagine we are going to be designing our forest. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the hashtag that's been up all week, hashtag shamecorn, and see what people have posted on Twitter, what kind of ideas they had. And as we go along, um, I'm also going to be picking out ideas from chat and drawing them on my lovely... Oh no. Which one is it? <laughs> Suddenly realizing... I err. Why is that on this one? Yes. Drawing it on my terrible art program. Well, the art program's fine. My art is terrible. We're just going to be doing squigglies and stuffs. But yeah, I'll be trying to do my own version of art. And then at the end, we'll try to put them all together on like one full 1920 by 1080 thing. See what kind of layout we're going to get. What we know for sure we're going to have is actually... this thing itself the alert box so we are going to be having like this somewhere in the background essentially just knowing where it is because we know that that's where the sheep will be dropping into the sheep pile so yeah we're going to do what we can there's been a lot of really good entries onto shame corn so there's a lot of fun things to go through at the beginning to see what other people have come up with but yeah it's just going to be a nice chill time um, we're going to be referencing like a lot of old videos. If you don't know what Shame Corn is, you have to watch my um, <laughs> Volcano Princess VODs. Yeah, that's where Shame Corn came from. We tried to name our stable the Shame Corner and it could only fit Shame Corn. So that's where Shame Corn came from and it's been there ever since. As we move into the forest, maybe we'll have a cornfield. I don't know. A lot of people have been giving a lot of ideas where I'm like, that's amazing. We are not going to be able to fit that in one background. <laughs> but yeah, with that said, good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a good start to the day. I have been up for the last two hours. I have walked dog. I have hydrated. I have had breakfast. Everything is good on my end. Mm. I hope you guys are ready for this too. Okay, let's open up the tweeter and refresh it just to make sure we haven't missed anything. I have it set to latest for now. Oh, yep. Immediately a new one came in. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, bu -bu -bum 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 -bum. Nope. Uh, what did I call this? I have too many assets at this point. <laughs> God damn it. Um, shit, what did I call it? Chat window capture. Uh, is it like image or something? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit all over the place this morning, even though I've been up here super early. And you really have too many assets. Once you start forgetting what name means what, yes. <laughs> and I hope you like this music. This is the Shepherd's main theme. Um, so it's the one we've got, like, all kinds of revised versions of it for different, like, emotions. But this is the main theme of the Shepherd. Okay, so this first one's by Sakura Bamu, who did the incredible membership wallpaper this uh, month as well for December. Scented tea decorations like cocktails for cold winters, which is beautiful. It looks like they're making their own tea. Very nice, relaxed looking fogger. Oh my god. <laughs> this cloak is so perfect. <laughs> Except for it being pure white. I love this cloak. The hood over top is very fantasy. Sorry, distractions. This is beautiful. It's very Breath of the Wild. Like the little tree stump, the little perfectly cut lemons, sliced up apples, the little bit of flower. That is gorgeous. 
Oh, I do quite like that idea. And the boiling pot over there to actually make some tea. Mmm. So hopefully we'll be able to fit that somewhere. So let's hide that and make my own version of it. Oh, and I'm going to be liking and retweeting things as we go. Um, so be warned for spam. Get that out of the way. <laughs> let's draw a terrible version. Okay. So the general idea being we want a tree stump. Vroom. That's wow. <laughs> I already broke it. Oh, good job. For the and again, why do I overextend that? There. Puff. We're still over. It's fine. It's fine. Tree stump should be up here. You know what? Let's do the circle first. Then I can't get it wrong. Perfection. That's a tree stump if I've ever seen one. Probably made it a bit. Now it looks like underpants. Ah. Uh, anyway. Tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> with like a little cup on it bum, bum, bum. I'm just gonna give the artist Sakura Bamu's version because that's actually a perfect example but yeah we'll do this my own version I'm gonna have a strawberry on the side instead of a instead of a bum, 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 lemon so that it's not copyright infringement <laughs> In all honesty, I don't really have to... No, what am I doing? I don't have to draw the things other artists have already done. I'm just going to be using those. Ah, okay. Let's just go through hashtag shamecorn first. And then I'll start drawing things people in chat suggest. <laughs> and then I'll combine the ones from hashtag shamecorn and the ones I've drawn in the final image. Okay, now I've got a brain. Now our brain is working. <laughs> Boom. Okay, I love that one. Sakurabamu, perfect. I'm bookmarking it. That one will be sent. <laughs> this one is from Sukumi. Hashtag shame corn. How about a landscape of a forest surrounded by monstrous mountains? A sacred lake with clear water and the surface glimmers when light shines on it. Fog that rises in the morning and wind blows through the leaves. And you can hear sheep baaing in the distance. I see this one is beautiful and I love this. A lot of people have suggested water features. I definitely want to have a lake in the background somewhere. Probably off to the side, so you can't really see the full size of it. This is the problem with the ones that came out like these. Like, this is a beautiful image, so immediately like and retweet. But at the same time, this is a whole background. <laughs> like, if I gave this to the artist, the artist would be like, okay, I get it. Forest, lake, perfect. Dog hanging out with a confidant. Beautiful. Water for us to drink? Exactly. Beautiful water mixture for drinking, for swimming, for playing. I get to fish. Problem is, you can't really put much else in this background. <laughs> like the foreground is taken up, the background is taken up. That's kind of it. So yeah, a lot of the hashtag shame call ones are just beautiful drawings where it's like, I could just use that as a background as it is. Drowning. I mean, if you can't swim, uh, so, some of the sheep have cyborg parts. They might not be great at floating. <laughs> so many ideas. People draw this so pretty. They did. And the sheep mountains. Look at the sheep clouds. I like the idea of there just being barring in the backgrounds as well. Maybe I'll talk to my... Um, oh no, because I want clear versions as well. But maybe I'll just get some quiet sheep barring and be able to play it when I feel like as well. Bleep bleep. <laughs> no. It's fine. He can he can swim. He just kicks extra hard. <laughs> Cycle through different forest background areas. Oh my god. Do you know how much that would cost? <laughs> do you know how much it costs to do like one high quality background? Keep in mind, my one's going to be animated as well. Having like multiple different ones. Oh, no, no. <laughs> we spent way too much money on something else that's coming out with the shepherd. This is, this is beautiful. Dog looks amazing. Folga looks amazing. And this is just a beautiful, like even the way it's described. Sacred lake with clear water and the surface glimmers when light shines on it. Fog that rises in the morning and wind blows th through the leaves. That's just, everything is perfect. This is gorgeous. This would make a beautiful background by itself. <laughs> that's you. Of course that's me. Who else would that be? <laughs> Liliana. Thank you. Oh, this is the cute one. There was an animated version of this one, I remember. Liliana made a cute little 3D version of the Nijipape to put it into animations. You got Bleep Bleep and Shiro. You got a little treasure chest. See, again, this is a fine background. <laughs> this isn't really like one specific thing. This is just an artist going ahead and creating their version of a background. And it is gorgeous again. Oh, my God. The little knapsack. Little tiny baby confidant. 
Oh, the little bits of Wolvesbane. The attention to detail as well is so good. A hammock back there for confidants to lay around in. And the beautiful Aurora Borealis. My god. These are gorgeous. I do want a little tent somewhere. So actually, that's going to be the first thing. <laughs> I should draw by myself. This will be fun. Okay. A tent. What kind of tent do we want? I want like a medieval tent. Let me Google that real quick and see what those look like. You can keep the tent at least. That's the thing. I'm going to take things from all of these. Like the first one, Sakura Bamu, had a really good... Like I like the idea of using a tree stump as a table. And I like the idea of having a place set up to like make tea or make infusions. Um, I think that's all good. Um, the second one, probably like the lake, the fishing pole. Those are both good ideas. I like those. So yeah. We're getting some fantastic ideas already. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Do. Oh, there's a few different interesting ideas for medieval tents. The Nubal. Thank God for LARPers. LARPers do everything for me. <laughs> I don't have to imagine anything. I could just search X followed by LARP. You get modern versions of historical things. Okay, let's hide this picture. And let's start my terrible drawing. Um, One that looks very simple, like a Roman one. Sure. We'll have like an opening that goes like this. Bum, bum, bum. And like a cave because it's all like looped over itself. Um, And then a more pointy bit. That goes down to about a quarter. Oh crap. Am I doing this okay? Probably not. <laughs> you have to have like tent poles and stuff as well. Which has got to look stupid on this draw. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm just going to give them the example that I used. But this is why we're here. For terrible, terrible drawings. Oh, my God. And then it looks like this. Oop. Oop. And then it would come back here. Tent would go down there. And they have more supports leading off to, like, little stakes in the ground. Do, 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 do. Boom. Yeah, that's staked into the ground. <laughs> Good enough for me, baby. Boom. Okay. And in there, I don't know. Um, We'll have like a bed. A little tiny bed and a little sheep sticking its head out. A sheep, of course, just being a cloud with legs. In this case, little tiny legs. That is a sheep. <laughs> anyway, something like that. There we go. A tent. File. Save. Do, 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 do. Shit, I need a folder for this. How do I make it? I'll create a folder. Um... Dumb drawings. Perfect. One dot. Oh, that was save. That wasn't export. Idiot. Export as. One dot JPG. Well, PNG. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> this is my tent with sheep. Okay. Now I can erase all of that. That's our first idea that wasn't quite drawn. <laughs> On to the next. Let's see what we've got. Oop. Cute sheep. I'm glad you liked the sheep. It looks more like a rug. Yeah, I mean, a camping bed really is in 2D. It just kind of looked like a rug. It's not too much different. <laughs> Yumi. Yumi had a... Yeah, this is perfect. This is just three small, like, well, a couple of different small ideas that I really like. So Yumi's got the hashtag shame corn. They've got the idea of growing different folga parts, planting excess arms in the ground and seeing if they grow. I love the little freaking Fuchan kettle as well. <laughs> That's adorable. I just realized my cursor wasn't on. But yeah, the little growing the hands. That was a joke that me and Peppy had on Twitter where Peppy said they stole one of my arms and I said, plant it. Maybe it'll grow another Fuchan. I'm not sure if they're referencing that, but that's cute. <laughs> Sheep. Keg. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. For one thing, it looks like a punishment. It looks like a stockade with the little sheep legs sticking through. 
And the fact that it's apparently milking the sheep somehow <laughs> is kind of worrying. The little I don't know smiley face. I kind of love it. <laughs> I think, you know what? I think we are going to have to steal that. I think that's pretty perfect. That's something that has to go into the background somewhere. <laughs> we can have like a couple of these. We can have like a couple of these like casks. And then we can just have one with a sheep sticking out of it looking like a stockade. That'll be the milk one. The other ones will be like whiskey, water. <laughs> it's mildly concerning. Only mildly. <laughs> Feel bad for that little sheep man i mean come to think of it maybe that's what this is all about maybe this isn't about me just trying um, the tears man maybe this is how you actually squeeze a sheep and get free water you squeeze a sheep hard enough you get all the water that you want <laughs> even though it's very clearly milk coming out of that one <laughs> the sheep looks content enough yeah he's not really sad He's just kind of disappointed more than sad. <laughs> oh, my God. And then the mushroom lamp, which reminds me a lot of Rakuen. I, yeah, I think your mushroom lamp would be great because it would be a reference to Rakuen as well. Um, we'll probably have, like, the entire top light up, though, rather than, it like, emitting a light. This looks, like, technological. This looks like a fake mushroom. What I would have is, like, a phospholuminescent um, mushroom. It's one of the things that I do want to do um, when I have the full version. Um, let me hide this for a second. Uh, so one of the things I do want to do is a very dramatically different background between day and night. Like, since we're going to be out in the forest, we're going to have, like, trees over here. I don't know. Zoom. That's my rough estimation of what a tree be. Um, probably a lake over here. I don't know. Nice grassy bank over here. Maybe with a tent down here. I don't know. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Um, but yeah, I want to have like a... I do want the idea of like a bonfire kind of thing or just like a campfire going on. And yeah, I think with like a pot of something boiling over it would be a good idea. And then yeah, in like the daytime, we'd have like bright sun coming from over there. We probably won't have the sun in the picture, but the general idea would be there'd be sun coming over here. So shadows would be being cast like to the right. The campfire would be off. And it would be a lot brighter, light greens. And then at nighttime, no sunshine. Maybe a moon up here. And what we'd have is like very dark and then everything being illuminated by like campfire and little lanterns hung up in the trees. And then, yeah, I think I like the idea of like little mushrooms. That's not how you draw them. Wow, it's kind of... <laughs> little mushrooms that are like phospholuminescent so we'd have like red light coming from over here we'd have the pale light coming from the moon and then we would probably have like a bluish kind of light coming from over here so that everything would be kind of i guess kind of vaporwave kind of synthwave vaporwave kind of colors like you'd have the dark reds you'd have the blues you'd have the purples meeting in the middle so yeah that kind of feeling where it actually looks like nighttime Firefly. Oh, fireflies would be good. Probably fireflies like over here by the water. Fireflies like to play around in those kinds of areas. Yeah. Oh, that's too close to the campfire. Maybe. Shit. <laughs> we'll move the campfire some. We'll have maybe the fireflies will be up here in the distance in the background. They can be flying. That way they can light up this area that doesn't have anything else lighting it. Fire near tent. Oh, we've already got the mushrooms near the tent. If we bring the mushrooms over here, hmm. Ah, we'll see. We've still got more things to design anyway. This is just a basic explanation for the idea that I want there to be very different styles between daytime and nighttime. I want it to really feel different when we switch. Like at the beginning of a stream, if I'm just doing a just chatting section, I want to be in the daytime. I want to be like, hey guys, high energy. Hope you're having a good day. And the rule of thirds, Fuchan, of something in the middle. That's the campfire in the middle. Um, but yeah. Um, and then at nighttime, for like the end of a stream, we switch to like the more calming, soothing colors that like let your eyes get tired. Switch tent in the fire. We'll see. We'll see. We're still collecting ideas. Um, yeah, I'm still stealing ideas from everybody on Twitter. But the mushroom lamp, I freaking love. Oop. And this thing, I freaking laugh. I think we're bringing that just because it was so fucking funny to me. 
I think maybe we'll try to like stick an arm or two in the shame corn because we're definitely got to have some shame corn growing somewhere. But this, god damn it, Yumi, you did such a good job. This is all so relevant to everything we already talk about. And they also had like cats, dog, a Fuchan painting. We don't need any Fuchan paintings. We're not going to ruin <laughs> a beautiful background with some of my art. <laughs> but yeah, the sheep milker, I think freaking funny. We'll just say it's an artificial sheep to anyone who finds it weird. To everyone else, it's a confidant. Different con You know what? A confidant that spends too much time in the shame corner. Yeah. They eventually get thrown into the milk machine instead. The, s the stockade. The milk stockade. Not weird at all? No, of course not. It's sheep milk. What would be weird about that? Camille! Huge tree trunk struck by lightning turned into a hammock bunk bed with fairy lights. That is a beautiful idea. Like, that's so naturalistic. I love it. And all the different hammocks between the different areas with just tons of sheep piled in. That's fantastic. Little sheep hiding under a mushroom. Camille did such a good job drawing this. A sacred gigantic tree in the forest with terraces for counting stars or listening to the shepherd sharing legends and stories. See, I really like this as well because, again, this is like a full background. We're not going to be able to use all of this, especially with the different perspectives. Like, this one is from the ground. This one is from the sky. <laughs> but because of that, like, at least it helps for world building. Like, we can definitely add these to the story. They might just obviously can't all fit in the background. Camille popped off. Yeah, I love this idea. It's very Rivendell. It feels very, like, elvish. Just using a broken apart. And especially, like, the design for it is so good that way. It's got that mysterious feel to it where it's been hit by lightning. So it's, like, destroyed, but then turned into something living. And the, sh the shame cornfield. Let's go. So Camille got a lot of good ideas in there. We're definitely going to have the shame cornfield. I love this. Especially the little mushroom overhang. The idea of having the little mushroom there. So if it was raining, they'd be able to like still stand out front as well. It's so freaking cute. How aggressive will the cottage core be? Hopefully very aggressive. Hopefully like, yeah, angsty. It's, it's dark fantasy. It was partly inspired by Lord of the Rings. Oh, fantastic. And you also have an updated archivist shepherd version of the current UI. Who knows? Maybe it's already being worked on. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think like... Because we've got like a Cyberpunk Legatus 505 thing down there. Yeah, we're probably going to have to... Everything else isn't going to match with those. So some things may have to change as well. <laughs> Canaria. Fairy fountain-like uh, pond for sheeps to swim on and to take a bath. That's adorable. Oh my god. I'm not sure we're going to be able to fit that. And it's too nice to the sheep. I mean, they're going to have a lake, so they don't really need, like, a sacred lily pond jacuzzi thing. <laughs> they have it too good in the forest. That is beautiful, though. Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom have such nice, like, naturalistic things as well. What do you mean too nice? You heard me. You guys are going to get hammocks. You guys are going to be nice and warm. It's, it's too much for you guys. Rather put them in a cauldron. Damn, Sunako. You, you've got a green name. You are one of the sheep pile. You're putting yourself in a cauldron. <laughs> Love the cottage core feels, especially because cottage core and dark academia is my aesthetic. That right there. Well, no, not so much cottage core as dark fantasy. But if you combine cottage core and dark academia, yeah, you basically got what the archivist and then the shepherd are going to be doing for like the next year, two years on the channel. <laughs> That's what we're going to be working with. So damn, good shit. We're getting a hammock. Yeah, yeah. There was a beautiful design by Camille with the idea of like a tree trunk being struck by lightning and hammocks between them. I like that because it also kind of looks like spider webs, which is sick to me. Boom, boom, boom. So Peppy, I think we need a sign for new sheep who reach the forest. We will move forward with that aim. It's a one-way forest. In this forest, you can't go outside unless you get strong. <laughs> wait, it's, wait. <laughs> no, people can leave the forest whenever they want to. It's just... They might not survive the f oh my god i just saw the executioner's block over here <laughs> this poor battered sheep oh my god welcome to the forest back thank you for donations to the feed fund <laughs> he's cutting up something on a chopping block <gasps> that's the double oh yo that could be a double use for the tree stump that's also used for making infusions and stuff <gasps> if we make like strawberries and cherries we can push some strawberries and cherries next to, like, the lemons that are cut up and everything. We can just have, like, a red liquid dripping down and it acts to the side as well. Okay. 
Okay, now I do need to draw this. <laughs> Shit, now we've doubled it up. Okay. Um, goodbye for now. Peppy, you're a mad genius. Okay. So we already had the idea of... Bum, 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 bum. Tree stump. I don't know. That's supposed to be a root. It doesn't look like a root. I am root. Um, that looks a bit more like a root, I guess. Sure. It's looking very... I'm drawing a brisket at now. Fuck. <laughs> it turned into a tiny little cuttlefish octopus thing. This this is fine. That's a tree stump. Look, it's, there's no face on it. It's definitely not a petrified brisket at rather than a tree stump. Um, Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> So we'll have this. We'll have like a nice... I, I don't remember how they drew it. They drew it beautifully. They had like a nice wooden cup and everything. I'm just going to draw this. That is a cup. <laughs> Nobody can deny that is a cup. Okay. So we need to switch to red. We'll have like some cherries. Like a strawberry. The cherries and strawberries look exactly the same because I cannot draw to save my life but we're just gonna have like a puddle of red liquid around them that just like drips down perfect and then we'll have a big old axe behind them um what kind of axe what a fancy axe <laughs> fancy axe maybe fantasy axe fantasy axe would probably oh that works Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, something with like a curved handle is sick. Executioner's axe. Probably sticking out of the stump. We'll have like... Yeah, impaled into the stump. And a nice... Curled and gnarled axe. Perfect. <laughs> and then all the other fruit as well all the other infusions like uh, I don't know ye yellow for lemon I guess we'll have like a little a little lemon half that was included um, some apple apple can be red but we'll do it green for now bum, bum, bum. there's going to be a lot of green there so it won't actually be green but there we go sliced into apple that looks like nothing <laughs> Whatever. It works. I know what I mean. The artist doesn't have to know what I mean. I can explain it in words. Damn it. I am better with words. Okay. I'll export as. This will be 2.pg. Crime scene. No. It's just where we prepare our meat. Don't be silly. There is nothing illegal about the slaughtering, whether ritualistic or otherwise, of sheep. Sheep are made to be eaten, right? I mean, I'm sure they don't think that. What well, meat? Sheep meat. Delicious sheep meat. Okay, mm. so yeah, I like that. <laughs> Peppy just added horrific things that they probably didn't mean to add. <laughs> I mean, they had a giant, you know what? There's blood leaking off of there. That's because of Peppy. We probably won't be able to actually have like a sign anywhere. That'd be a bit too on the nose. But yeah, I like this. I, I like the storyline for this one as well. And Peppy's sheep always look adorable. Can we cannibalize sheep? Of course you can. In fact, we encourage it. <laughs> Lo-fi. Okay, we got to have a large projector like this. It would not, unfortunately, suit the um, time. This is going to be a dark fantasy time. So they're going to have magic, but not so much. Like No, no projectors. Could you not? I could not. But I'm not going to. This would probably freak the shit out of the shepherd. The shepherd don't know about this shit. He'd probably think it was dark magic and destroy it. Not called cannibalize. Are we cannibals? I mean, we've been playing a lot of cannibalistic games. Oh, maybe? <laughs> you could use crystals and magic for a projector. Yeah, I could. I was thinking, like, you could use fire to do, like, one of those really basic... What were they called? Cam camera Obscura kind of things. You'd have, like, one of those ones where there's a little fire in the center and then there's different images around a circle and it spins around. Confused OG-san archivist? Yeah, pretty much. 
Magic moonlight projector. Ooh. How will we watch your stream? Through magic. The same way that TTT. Did you guys know TTT have a very like in-depth magic system? I'm not sure if they've ever talked about that on stream. Um, but yeah, they, they have a very in-depth magic system for their world that explains how they stream. I'm not sure if they ever brought it up like during their debuts or okay, they did. Good. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, they have a very in-depth like explanation about how they're able to stream from their like magic and fantasy based world. Um the so ours, yeah, we'll probably just say, hey, it's crystals. <laughs> if anybody ever calls me out, like we're probably gonna have like firelight in most places and lanterns and shit, so not like magic stuff, but I mean we might have flying airships in the future. I don't know. And so, yeah, we may go Crystal Power Final Fantasy 14 style. Final Fantasy 16 did that a lot as well. You can put projectors on your eyes. I can, but the shepherd cannot. <laughs> okay, Kidiva. I just want a tire swing. Oh my God, that's so freaking cute. Look at him go. <laughs> That's, I'm not sure if that sheep's actually happy or if he's terrorized right now. Like, I, I want to believe he's having the time of his life and he's just swinging around. But part of me is thinking, that poor dumb sheep got trapped in there, didn't he? He's been doing this for hours and he's just trying to escape. <laughs> I just want a tire swing like this. That's all I need. That's all I dream. Thank you. You know what, Kidiva? We can probably do that. <laughs> I will bookmark that one. Hopefully we can hang a tire for... Wow. They wouldn't have tires. Maybe just a swing swing rather than a tire swing. Like a wooden one. I mean, they definitely have wheels, but they'd have like wagon wheels. So unless you want to be like Catherine Wheeled. Catherine Wheeled would not be fun. So <laughs> those spokes on that. That's when you get into torture. Would that be our punishment then? Oh my God. That's a fucking hilarious punishment. <laughs> you get put in the bad boy swing. <laughs> It's like, no, you've been bad today. Go to the bad boy swing. And you just swing there for the next several hours, unable to escape. <laughs> Eventually, you just give up and stand. Oh, it would probably hurt you while you're standing there as well. That seems barely touching the ground. There's probably some force going onto the stomach. That's a pretty good torture device. You know what? I'll think about it. We may break the logic of our world to put a damn tire swing. <laughs> Just because you convinced me on the torture. <laughs> okay, this one I cannot read. Time for jump. Oh yeah, there's a gift version of this one. I've seen this one. Okay, so this one is like for returning sheep. It's a way to climb up to the top. Go over here, sign your name, get a decoration of your choosing from the box, and then dive into the sheep pile, which is a nice trampoline with a slide. This is way too comfortable. <laughs> But yeah, they have a gift version as well of like, oh, look at the sheep. Boom. <laughs> That's so adorable. So you get raised to the top, you take your decoration, you sign your name, and then you bounce down. Which is a really, like, they've really kept attention to detail as well for like the, how does the comfy grabber know the names and everything else? But yeah, that's adorable. I love that. I still haven't thought about what would be a good one. Maybe a giant hollowed out tree stump with like a bunch of wool in it but this is good like oh my god we could have like tree bark for a slide instead hmm thoughts are forming in my tiny brain okay hmm or we'll stretched leather animal hide i think like <laughs> Wool would be softer. <laughs> you, could, you could imagine animal hide on the bottom. We'll definitely use animal hide for some of like the hammocks. Hmm. Maybe the hammocks should be animal hide rather than rope. I don't know. There's a lot of things to consider. You know what? I'm going to make a thing for that. I'm going to make a poll for that. For the hammocks. Going to be a bit scary and we'll have animal hide sheepskin oh it's definitely going to be sheepskin there's no question about it when i say animal hide we use every part of the sheep there'll be sheep horn decorations all over the place too don't worry okay animal hide or woolly thread i know which one would be more comfy but i also know which one would be more terrifying so it's hard to choose <laughs> not sheepskin Sheepskin probably isn't even that strong when you tan it, but uh, it's fine. 
Okay, so we needed something for the sheep pile anyway. This seems like a pretty good idea. But let me steal this tool. That mechanism is incredible. We're probably not going to use that, but we'll have like a big old giant version. This one has a bulbous part. We'll have like a hollowed out tree stump. Could be like gnarled and like partly destroyed. It won't look like it's been hit like by lightning like the last one. And what I like the idea of is maybe the bark here will be like curled down. But, like this will be bark as well and it will be like just a little lip to it that's been broken bent downwards and then acts as a slide for sheep to come out of. God, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> But I will explain it to the artist properly. And they'll probably be able to do it. But just... Um, um, bim, bim, bim. Fucking circles, Fuchan. Learn your shapes. They go up before they go around. And they go down. There we go. Okay. That sounds like fun. Hell yeah! We'll probably have like one sheep. Just kind of sticking its head out here. Crap. With black and white, I can't really give it much of a face. Um, sheep's faces are black. Um, but he'll be sticking his nose down here. Probably the ears will be here. Or horns, I don't know. But this will just be like a sheep sticking its head out, going, bah. Boop, boop. And then a bunch of like wool. So it looks very comfy. It's a welcome to the sheep pile thing. So this will all be white. Where's my dump button? Oop. Damn it. Okay. I didn't draw that to the side enough. I left openings. <laughs> now let's try again. Perfect. That's what we want. Okay. I know what this means. And then I'll probably have like a sign back here. This says sheep pile. There we go. Perfect. I'm not going to lie, that's so cute. I like the idea of it. I mean, a lot of people have been doing like the use the elements kind of thing with the whole um, b -b 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 like using tree trunks in places. Very cottage core. So yeah, we'll continue with that. I like that. Refer to your skull tree in Minecraft. We could have a skull tree. Oh, God. It'd be hard, though. The thing is, I want it to not be creep. A lot of me wants to make it like full horror themed. And then I realized that would ruin the atmosphere for most normal streams. <laughs> um, maybe we'll just have some sheep skulls some places. <laughs> sheep skulls aren't scary. They're cute. They're decorative. Bum, bum. Let's go full horror. Comfy horror. Mm. Maybe we'll have some hung in the trees. Somebody did say they wanted, like, the tree from Legatus 505 that had all the different emblems hanging off of it. Kindred and on, except no substitutes. A campfire, because we all love a good roast. We're definitely going to have that. Basket for collecting. Oh, apples. I'm guessing wool <laughs> and corn. It's just a little sheep, but I think they mean wool rather than collecting sheep. A tree swing. Oh, good. A lot of people want a tree swing. Flowers and herbs. Definitely. Training materials, including T-posing doll. I think we're not going to have the T-posing doll because we're still going to be using the old um, background sometimes. So while we can refer to some of the things, like I think the T-posing doll is just very, very different from um, the world that the shepherd would live in. But yeah, we're still going to have like the old background for whenever I want to be like the archivist. Like that's literally the archivist's bedroom. 100% in canon. That's his bedroom. Um... <laughs> We'll still use that for like archivist, archivist themed stuffs. Um, but the shepherd's place will be like when I'm doing shepherd stuffs. T-pose doll made of straw. I was actually thinking we could do like a set of armor T-posing. But at that point, <laughs> we're really fucking with, with whatever artist has to end up drawing this. Okay, woolly thread won by 56% to 44%. Thank you. So we'll go with woolly thread. More comfy, less terrifying. Um, training materials, headphones for channel OST slash DMMD nod. 
again, wouldn't quite fit into the world. Hmm. Nah, that one wouldn't quite fit in. Like, we need things that were, like, related to the same kind of ambience as well. Like, we could definitely put references to, like, Zelda kind of stuff with, like, swords and shields and stuff. Um, different types of plants, like the Silent Princess. Uh, but yeah, not so much the technological stuff. TGCF reference, maybe? Oh, we could definitely do that. We're probably going to have books, because books are fine and everything. I definitely want a butterfly flying around that's very, like, luminescent as well, especially for the nighttime scene, as a nod to Morgana more than to Hua Chung. But I do want, like, a blue butterfly flying around, probably near the glowing blue mushrooms as well. Um, shit. <laughs> well, I haven't drawn the full, full thing yet. Okay, let me actually start listing the things as well as doing these drawings. So I can remember them at the end. See if we can fit them in. Um, okay. So we're going to have... Tent. Mushroom that glows blue. Butterfly that glows blue. Sheep pile. Um, out of an old tree, hammocks in a hollowed out tree stump, tree stump with axe and equipment, or tea and infusions, uh, campfire. Big lake. Okay, for now, that's what we've got. God, we've got so much already. <laughs> sus sheep slash sheep shaped bark slash stump. Why would that be sus? Like a sheep trying to murder us. Butterflies are my favorite. Butterflies are always good. Bloody butcher corn. I have no idea what you mean by that. <laughs> a sheep trading dummy. Oh, that'd be adorable. EGCF ref, though. Mm. We'll probably just have the books again. We'll just have them smaller and further away. Um, I don't know where we put a bookshelf in this background. <laughs> this is supposed to be, like, open in front of a forest. Okay, a cannot. A cane rocking chair. Huh? Let me zoom in on this real quick. Sorry, you won't be able to see it. Made by Fisalis Peruviana. A type of lantern. Treehouse with many books. We could put some treehouses in the background. A rocking chair. It's just a rocking chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fell asleep on the rocking chair while watching Food Chan. That's kind of adorable. I mean, that's the way we're probably going to design the idea of the streams. Rather than it being like everybody watching me on a projector, it's going to be more just, hey, the shepherd comes out of his house and is like, hey guys, you ready to have a chat today? Sheep shaped bean bag. <laughs> probably just a stack of books by the sitting area. That'd be good. They could just be like a couple of books you can see on the inside of the tent. Just like, yeah, piled together. Story time? Hell yeah. Rocking chair is cute. I do like the idea of a rocking chair. I love these lanterns. These lanterns are beautiful. I'm still debating right now. Because we could go for like crystal lanterns. Like, obviously, they'd still have this. I want them, like, hanging from a tree for sure. But I don't know if I want, like, crystals as a light source. Maybe with some paper around them to change the colors. Or if I want, like, just fire lanterns. Or if I want, like, fairy lanterns. Or even we could make them... Oh, that's how we could get the fireflies in. We could have little glass bottles hanging from the tree that have, like, a bunch of fireflies in them. So what you'd see would just be like a glass jar hanging from a tree with like lots of little dots of glowing light in them moving around. Maybe fire lanterns or crystals for the streams. Fireflies would be cute. Yeah, we could have fireflies. Or we could have a mix. We could have a couple of different things. We're going to have a lot of trees in the background. With fairies from Legend of Zelda. I was just thinking fairies. I think... Hmm. We'll see. Hmm. That's the question. <laughs> I We don't have to decide that immediately. In fact, you know what? I'll put up a poll for it. You guys decide. I don't want to decide. Um, bah, bah, bah. Okay, another poll. Lanterns. Do you want them to be made out of fire? Or fairies? Or crystals? Or... 
fireflies. I don't think I'm allowed to be near fairies. What did you do to Pomu? <laughs> what happened between you and Pomu, Momo Angel? <laughs> but no, this is adorable. I love this. But definitely some sort of lanterns. I do like this idea of like some trees having like little open bits, like treehouse kind of areas. Very, again, Rivendell, Lothorian kind of thing. Living above the ground. I cannot draw that worth a shit. I'll try at the end though. <laughs> Rocking chair would be cute. If anything, maybe we'd make it the armchair though. Somebody drew the armchair recently and it was a... Oh my God. This is exactly what I meant about like the different day and night system. Holy shit, this is perfect. Um, Apu's big tree. Sheep shaped lantern. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> I've done some messed up things, but you, you made a lantern out of a sheep. Confidants in the hill behind. Lovely flowers everywhere. Little mushrooms and dog. Winter clothes. But this is so cute. And then, yeah, the very different atmosphere with like during the day, completely like lit up. And then during the night, properly dark with just like patches of light. This is so good. This is such a good example for that. I'm probably just going to end up sending this to the artist and be like, this is the kind of thing I mean. <laughs> like, I want some purples, I want some reds, and I want some like, yeah, dark forest ambiance. That's amazing. Sten! Let's freaking go. That poor lantern sheep, what did they do? Exactly! <laughs> we will literally light up your world. Imagine how you have to make that. I mean, it's clearly not a real sheep, but... Who knows what you can do with magic? <laughs> You can do anything with magic. I know there are a lot of people into being turned into items and having their willpower taken away. So who knows? Paper pens would work. Mm -hmm. Paper pens? Sheep skull lanterns? Oh, that would be scary as shit. Sheep skulls as it is are kind of intimidating. <laughs> with light coming out of them like a jack-o'-lantern? That'd be badass. A creepy tree with a cute spirit inside. I think this one is impossible, but a place to practice. Oh, that's cute. That's a gun range. Oh, my God. I was like, wait, why are there like headphones kind of thing? And then I was like, ah, oh, this is straight up a gun range. I mean, oh, God. I like the idea of like, this is adorable. Just having one tree with like that kind of thing. Just have that. Since it's got to be animated, we could have the eyes blinking. Oh, I like that a lot. We definitely won't have a gun range. <laughs> you said earlier that sheep skull was cute. It is cute. It's also intimidating. I find things cute and intimidating. That's why I have Halloween decor all year round. Cheap Skull Jack-O-Lantern is definitely cool, though. It could be. It could be. But yeah, we'll put a little set of eyes in a hollowed out tree bit. Have them blinking on and off. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> Say it. Futan, Futan. We need a magical lake, which is hot in the winter, but cold in the summer. Some of you are just going for comfort, and I'm paying attention. <laughs> How, how does this add to the defense of this? How does this add to the one? This is just because you want a jacuzzi in the winter. Mm -mm. Nope. Get out of here, Jade. Too comfy. Too comfy. As Fuchan said, he'd like to have something floating in the sky. My pop-up idea is a welcome sheep. They build a kite for every ba who want a greeting new sheep to the sheep pile to fly near the reigning sheep. <laughs> That's actually freaking adorable. Oh my god. Look at the little sheep trying to hold on. I, I would be great if it could fall. I mean, I could have it so that it moved to the left and right and occasionally it could like go behind the thing. And you could imagine one of the sheep coming out of here was a sheep falling off of the kite instead. <laughs> Cute. How could a confidant be too comfy? <sighs> it's the forest, guys. It's for training. <laughs> we will defend our comfy justice. I don't think that's how it works. Hot tubs in the snow are nice, though. They are. Got to ease the muscles, foo. Okay, now, now you're making sense. You're right. That does aid muscle recovery when you're trying to build muscles. A nice jacuzzi kind of moment. A nice hot tub kind of moment. That does soften off the muscles. Helps them recover a bit more. Hmm. You can do what you want with the lake water. We're not putting a goddamn magical hot tub for you guys. This, on the other hand, is adorable. Idea in draft. Ooh. Oh, they didn't add it. Okay. <laughs> Damn it, Luther. That's adorable, though. A little comfy flying up in the air next to the membership thing. Could go behind it, make it look like it's falling out. Do I do that? Is it too cute? Is it too adorable? Mm, 
I'm adding it. I like that idea. Confidant flying on a kite. Goes behind membrane and falls. So at least I can imagine that it falls occasionally. That makes it feel better. That makes it feel less adorable. That makes it feel more terrifying for a nice community. <laughs> we will throw heating or cooling into the lake to get our jacuzzi. You're just going to melt the lake. Well, what's the word? You're just going to boil the lake at that point. Nothing is too cuteness. Cuteness runs the world. Maybe in other places. But yeah, I'll bookmark that one. Oh, look at the little sheep swing. Can we have a wooden swing in the forest, please? Yeah, I'll add that to the list. A lot of people have been requesting that. Whether it's a tire swing or a different kind of swing, I did not add that to the list yet. So yes, swing. Swing. I would love to have one of those swings that is basically just a plank hanging from a tree branch. Or maybe a car tire. And confidants can push each other on the swing. Everybody wanted a swing. God damn. Cute just wins. Does it though? Maybe a random staircase that leads to nowhere. That's evil. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like that. It'd be like a suicide staircase if it led to nowhere. It just goes straight up and then just stops. Does that have bad implications? <laughs> I like the way you're thinking, Riley. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking. I'm pretty sure I once read a horror story like a creepypasta about some teenagers finding a staircase in the middle of the woods. Um, pretty sure I read one like that. Anyway, hoo hoo. Shame corn. This is beautiful. Again, this is basically a background by itself. You've got the giant conveyor belt of new sheep coming in, having like a little meeting area. The sheep pile up here with a bunch of little Fuchan arms. It looks like there's a bunch of sheep in cages over here. Too. <laughs> They're chopping up their own meat. Dog has a little house down here. He's like buried in the ground like a hobbit. They're farming. They're cooking. Oh my god, this is freaking adorable. I love this so much. And then there's me in my little wood cabin. <laughs> what if Rot Spirit and Korok could be? Mm. I think Korok is too much. You have to be careful with your references to things so that they're not like registered trademarks. That's why I've like never had like a Master Sword or anything in my background. Instead, you go for something that's like subtle, like the Silent Princess Flower. <laughs> a Korok, I think, is too direct. Rot Spirit, we may be able to get away with. We could have like a rot spirit like sitting in the trees somewhere. Because then the people could be like, is that a rot spirit? Is it those little tree spirits from Princess Mononoke? People will never know. People will never know. Comfy Korok. That we could do. We could just do a little sheep with some Korok decorations. What were the other Zelda references we were thinking? Silent Princess? We could go with a comfy Korok instead of a silent princess. We're going to have enough flowers and stuff. Comfy Korok. No one will ever know it's a Korok. It's just a sheep with a funny little mask on its face. Don't worry about it. Hoo-Hoo's <laughs> Arts always one of my favorites. Though. I love Hoo-Hoo's Arts. They do so many as well. Some days Hoo-Hoo watches so many streams that Hoo-Hoo just ends up doing like 15 pieces of art in a single day. They're always so beautiful. Cat and cat on the roof. Yeah, chasing each other. You got everything in this image. That's what I love. The comfy conveyor belt, the sheep pile. This one that looks like it's about to go out foraging. <laughs> They're like harvesting the wool as well. It's so cute. I love this. This, yeah, like I said, could just be a background in and of itself. I'm so glad Hoo Hoo actually released a, a book recently, I think, with all of their different, like, um, some of their favorite pieces of art. Yeah, Hoo Hoo's art is amazing. I always love it. It's so expressive. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Jules. <laughs> Chewing. Although we'll be moving on from the cyberpunk theme, I think a small shout out to it would be nice. Like, for example, Fuchan's old cyborg limbs lying around somewhere. Or his old jacket now mysteriously worn and tattered. Ooh. I quite like that. The idea of, like, the jacket left behind. Hmm. The arms, like I said, may still show up in, like, the comfy, the shame corn. Um. Tattered jacket, though, would be pretty cool. Where would I put it, though? I'm going to add that as a maybe. Had a jacket. It would be nice to have like another clothes pile. As I like. Let me go to it. Although the chat's broken in that one. 
I do like like our little in the back of the room, like all the clothes swaying in the background. I don't think we've had enough clothes to make a new like pile, to be fair. Um, we are going to have second anniversary art. Obviously, everybody gets second anniversary art. And I'm going to have like two new costumes. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll I like the idea of it being like tattered, though. Even though they're the ones from the future. <laughs> Rusty hand with plants growing through it. That would be fucking sick. I was thinking about that with the cyborg arms planted in the shame corn of like, yeah, essentially the corn like coming out of some of them growing around them. It being used as a way to stabilize the corn as it grows. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I like that. The jacket like fucked up is such a good symbol. And they use that in so many different things. Um, Shuki. I tried drawing some of my ideas. The following characters are from that Google translator, and I hope they don't express any strange meanings. Okay, so once again, somebody who went for lanterns, which I love this time, candle lanterns. Digien, fog with confidence. A lamp hanging on a tree that emits light at night. May the newly arrived sheep and Fuchan, who occasionally comes back to visit the sheep, not get lost. Beautiful. Oh, a little forest bar. Fuchan's open air cocktail cabin where various drinks are personally prepared by Fuchan. The drinks are only open to adult sheep. <laughs> the underage lambs are drinking juice. Adorable. <laughs> oh, a nice cozy campfire. By the river, there can be a cradle for lying down and reading, or a huge sofa for listening to Fu Chan tell stories. That's so adorable. I like that. All wrapped up with a wall, a little hot cocoa to go with it. And the confidants just sitting around by the lake. Really nice reflective lake, too. Suki, those were beautiful drawings. Thank you so much. I like those. We're definitely going to have some sort of lanterns. I'll probably leave it up to the artist to do like final designs on all these things, by the way. Like I will share the art that I'm referencing from you guys. And I will also share my own little shitty drawings. <laughs> but yeah, in general, I'm going to be like, hey, if you get a good idea, just run it by me. Go nuts. Maybe paths slash signs that spread more spots throughout the forest. A signboard would actually be a really good idea. We could throw in a lot of good references that way. So, for example, if we couldn't, like, I want to get shame corn in there, um, but anything else we wanted to, like, reference as a general idea, it could just be on the signboard. Hmm. So, what other things would go on the signboard? I'll put that up because I like the idea. And there could be, like, vegetation growing over it, some ivy hanging off of it to give it that real cottage core vibe. Um, wooden signboard. To do. It's a shame corner with shameful corn. You're damn well right. <laughs> Red corn, futan, art incoming. Oh yeah, we'll be doing more art. Like Once we get to the end of going through, because there aren't a super ton of things in the hashtag shame corn. So we'll get through this within like another 30, 40 minutes. And then I'll go through things in chat and be drawing them in my own way. Um, Yeah. So yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Hmm. I don't think we really have any other, like, names of places that would show up in the forest, at least. We could have, like, a training area. References to other fantasy areas. We could have references to the other Nijisanji members that way as well. We could have references to, like... Have they ever named their worlds? <laughs> I know, like, Pomu and Rosami come from the same forest. I know, like... Vox comes from Japan, so... <laughs> oh, God. Trading area. Trading area would be good. Omu's Forest. We could just name it Fairy Forest, I guess. Obsidia has a city, I think. Oh. XLA City is just named XLA City. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Have some Pomu leaf? No. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Obsidia Crossing. Oh, shit, yeah, that's good. City of Crossing is a real thing they made. Hmm. We could look up more after this. By the way, does that mean we be using glowing paint signs made of glowing bugs? No. <laughs> they probably just have some lanterns hanging off them as well, so you can read it. Eluna Institution. Thank you. Eluna Institute. Forgot they had a name for their one. Did XLA ever name their school? Maybe like a signpost with arrows pointing in the direction of digi locations. Yeah, that's what we're we're kind of trying to remember some of the names of the other ones. Oh, is XLA just XLA Inst oh, Institute of Mystics? Thank you. 
Multitude of Mystics. Luxium like Noctics came from all the different... So I can have the Republic. It doesn't have to be completely canon. I just don't want putting like super technological stuff in it. So we could have the Republic on the signpost. Um, Lily is also from Hell. Yes, she is. <laughs> Been all through places. Um, the Abyss. Uh, the Abyss makes sense, actually. In a fantasy world, there could be a place called the Abyss as well. How about for Etheria? Do they have a name place? Not really. I mean, I know Nina came from heaven. Millie came from hell. Raymu was a ghost who grew up in Japan. And Enna's from paradise, whatever that means. <laughs> so they're kind of from all over the different places. Yeah, I guess you could also technically say Raymu comes from hell because she's a ghost. raymu has got a gravestone. Yeah, she has a backstory. She was like, she was drowned in the water. She was, yeah, she was just raised in Japan and then drowned in water and became a ghost. And there's also hell. Huh? Damn, her lore is updated since I checked it out. <laughs> okay, well, we've got enough. We could have just like an Etheria signpost, but no, that's too direct. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The Atelier. Oh, yeah, well, we're definitely going to have also training area. Sheep area? Trim place? Oh, training area. Maybe come up for a name for that later. And it says it, so I'll believe it. <laughs> Never believe anything, Anna says. <laughs> okay. Shuki, thank you for the beautiful artwork. That's gorgeous. Sukumi. Sukumi collected so many. Um, These are all from Sukumi. Whoop. Oh, you are not going to be able to see these at all, unfortunately. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Shelter holding different things by arena. Confidence, obviously. Fishing area. I dug a hole. Sheep made lake water. Oh, God. <laughs> they dug a hole and all the sheep's tears became a little tiny lake. <laughs> That's adorable. <gasps> tire swing again. Everybody wants a tire swing specifically over a normal swing. Pew pew ground. Not happening. Pillow and blankets. We'll definitely have stuff like that. Tents. Definitely. Tea kettle. Oh. We could have the futon kettle somewhere. Maybe rather than a teacup on the... Well, it could be next to the teacup. We could have a Fuchan kettle. I'll add that. That's not too terribly... Mm. Yeah, it'll just have to be like one of those types of kettles that you use with fire. Okay. Tea kettle. The kettle comes everywhere with us. <laughs> um, pew pew ground. Book corner. What does it say there? Idea by drawn legend. Okay. Food. <laughs> Doggo. Adorable. Wi-Fi and power generated by a sheep running on a wheel. <laughs> Lakes and mountains and shame corn farm. Okay, we're definitely having the shame corn farm. So Tsukumi collected so many ideas from all around the people. All around different confidants. They've got a dock, a hammock. Everybody wanted a hammock as well. An outhouse. <laughs> I mean, we don't want any of that shit that happened in Cold of the Lamb where the shit piled up. Nocturnals. It would be cute to add like, mm. nah, this is our forest. Some references to other people are fine, but throwing in like all the different, yeah, we'll leave that out. Fence. Cute little fence. Okay, so some good ideas there. A lot of them we've kind of already done. A dock would be nice. I do like wooden bridges going over water. Let's see if we can. Wooden bridge into the water. If we can. If there's space. Uh, what else do we want from this one? We've got the tent. We've got the pillows. We've got the book corner. Swing. Shame corn farm. No, okay. We actually got most of these. <laughs> Other people focused on small ones, so that's good. Um, do, 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 do. Books. I didn't add books yet. Your fishing dock. Oh, exactly. Makes it easier to catch the fishies. Shame corn. I would love to have a punching bag with Fuchan's picture on it. So we can train with it and miss him while he's on <laughs> From beating it half to death to Futan. We miss you. Oh my god. That's kind of adorable. We could have one of those hanging from the tree. <laughs> oh, fine. Futan. Punching bag. From tree. 
These trees are going to be stacked, man. Oh, God, that's adorable. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, the name is Oh My Dick. <laughs> Beautiful artwork. Very funny name. <laughs> the armchair. Yes. This is creepy as shit. <laughs> I've seen a few different versions of the armchair now. I, I think this one is one of the creepiest because it has the wool attached as well. The arms is the legs. Oh, jeez. Um. Yeah, maybe we won't have an armchair in the background for the simple reason that that, that instantly turns it into a horror background. <laughs> This is awesome. Don't get me wrong, Sneku. Made from real confidant wool. Fantastic. <laughs> At least it's soft and comfy. Supportive where it needs to be as well. Those arms look very good for armrests. Literal armrests. You could hold the hands as well. You can just like put your arms down at your side and hold hands with your armchair. Why am I talking myself into this? <laughs> Can it give back hugs? Technically, I mean, yeah, if you just like pull those arms around you, you'll probably interlock them in front of you. Give yourself a little stomach hug. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the arms of our enemies. <laughs> Where are those arms from? People that have tried to break into the forest. People that are being silly. Anytime I bonk someone, anytime I like permanently ban someone rather than just time them out, that's when we collect the arms. We played enough Rise, Son of Rome. We know how to do it. <laughs> Fuck, I'm putting that down as a maybe too. God. Armchair. We'll see if we can get it in without it being creepy. Who knows? Who knows? Sam, inactive for a while. Here are some of my ideas for the forest. Most are just old background ideas. Recycled with more sheeps in it. New sheep falling the sheep pile. We're going to have that. A very comfy bed. <laughs> Just sheep is a bed. Adorable. This could be the shame quarter. It reminds me of Anka's sheep of Foo's booba. Now that's an image of a sheep holding desperately onto a tree. It looks like they've been crucified is my problem. <laughs> I'm fine with a little sheep torture. Sheep crucification is a step beyond what we want, probably. <laughs> Sheep's playing with baby of video. That's adorable. Um... We're probably not going to have any other characters in the background. We might have dog and cats. I don't think we'll have like a baby of video or any other tiny things, but stay tuned for other things. Um, clothes rack with seamstress sheep. A seamstress sheep. Oh, that's adorable. Got sheared for the clothes. No, we don't want any naked sheep in the background. Of course, we need books with an additional librarian sheep. These sheep are fucking adorable. And a sheep mechanic. Oh, for creating different arms and assets. I don't know what, but I want buff sheep in the forest. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. I like the idea of a buff sheep, one that's taking the training to an extreme. Um, These are all adorable. I don't think they're going to fit with the aesthetic. I love looking at them. <laughs> and there are some things that are going to happen later on in the story, which will be interesting linked to some of these things. Um, but for the background, I think this is a bit cartoonish. But the buff sheep, the buff sheep we can definitely do. I'm putting a buff sheep in there. Buff sheep. I don't think he'll be flexing like that. I think he'll just be... Now, you know the pig in Family Guy that was like super buff? That was just like... We're still standing on all fours. But you could see like the traps, the delts, the forearms. Something like that, but sheep version. <laughs> so still down on all fours. Just a very buff sheep. Buff sheep. Punching the buff, punching the punching bag. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> okay, fireflies won it. Fireflies took it away. Crystals with 28%. Fireflies with 38%. Okay, but the lanterns will have fireflies in them. Lanterns made out of bottles with fireflies. I love fireflies. Me too. They're very pretty. In my area, they come around starting from June all the way to August. They're beautiful. Shearing station with sheep labor because that's our problem if our wool grows out. So true. 
Oh my god, this is an adorable image as well. And I love the little red and black shearing station. God damn it. I don't think we're going to be able to fit this because we've got so many other things coming in. But this is an adorable image and I freaking love it. Maybe we'll just have like... Oh, I yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, so... um, We'll have like not electric shears, but just normal shears. Beside the sheep pile. Yes. The sheep pile carved out of an old tree. We're going to have like a little pair of shears next to it. So that anytime we need to shear a sheep, they get sheared directly into the sheep pile. And a brush. No, you guys don't deserve a brush yet. You have to work for the brush. But now you get shears. That's one thing. I'm still not going to shear you. You guys have to shear yourselves. But the brushes, you, you got to earn the brush. We'll see if you guys can earn a brush in the future. I need a brush. That sounds like a you problem. We come in naked. No, you come in all hairy and then you get sheared into the shear pile. Does that mean the first few confidants fell directly onto just pure hard wood? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> Could there be a tree like the one in Legatus 505 story in the Shepherd's Forest? The tree is described so beautifully. Yeah. I was glad somebody brought that out. At the base of the tree, I looked up into the healthy leaves above. At each large branch was a ribbon weighed down with ornate objects of various kinds. Bells, shells, pens, jewelry, bottles. The soft breeze caused by the artificial air circulation made them all dance, many colliding with one another and producing sounds. While there was no pattern, a rhythm, rhythm still seemed to form like improvised music. Each ribbon had a name scrawled on it in thick ink, and each of their branching paths there were more. Some branches started sharing multiple ribbons with different names. Ah, oh, yeah, we can have that tree. Uh... La Goddess 505 tree. Such a good chapter. I liked that chapter. It was mostly fighting. <laughs> but I liked the revelation at the end. She, she didn't necessarily have to know. You guys made La Goddess do that. <laughs> Wait, I don't even need to bookmark that one. It's my own writing. <laughs> Bail fawn. Why the F my confidant shrubbery kind of looked like a chicken? I did not know this was a confidant. I thought this was like a chocobo. Anyway, please consider for our forest, maybe. It definitely almost has a sheep head. Yeah. And if these, like, curl down, it's a chicken. It's very much a chicken. I feel like I'm being cheated. It even has, like, yeah, it has, like, bird feet. I feel like somebody's trying to sneak a chicken. A little, maybe a Pio-chan. Maybe a little scythe kick. A drop scythe. A scythe kick. <laughs> They're trying to sneak a scythe kick into our comfy forest. <laughs> I'm watching you, Balefawn. <laughs> it doesn't even have four legs. It has two. God damn it. Nope. Adorable shrubbery. I demand a shrubbery. Get out of here. Don't say drop scythe, but I... I, I gotta say drop scythe. It's funnier. <laughs> Can we have a treehouse as our play slash trading base? Ooh. Oh, th again, this is a beautiful, like, this is a full background in itself. You got me reading a book. Got the confidants over here having a little... How can a sheep climb a rope? You know what? I'm not going to question it. A sheep can do a lot of things in this world. <laughs> the little, like, yeah, platforms in the trees are so sick on this one. I like this. The multiple trees joined together. That'll probably be good for the background. So I love it. And then the roasting area. They're making a pizza. <laughs> so freaking cute. I think those are cats hiding in there and dog is over here. Oh, this one's adorable. Thank you, Jive. So we can show you. Now oh, I'm worried. <laughs> we are buffed. Yeah, but do you have hands? Hands is the question. <laughs> I'm gonna add that as well. Platforms between multiple trees. Like Lothlorien. My sheep has tentacles. Well, yeah, I guess that kind of works. Can you climb with... Mm, yeah, octopuses can climb. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, you might think this is a bad idea. But what if there was a Ganondorf figurine somewhere? Right? Since the sheep are horny... I mean, being respectfully down bad, respectfully down bad for him. 
don't think I forgot calling him mid. He still is, but I'm doing it to satisfy the companies. The comfies, even. Ah, copyright. <laughs> so no. <laughs> Although, yes, he do be sexy. They're in your windows. That's true. There are sheep in the windows. Man. <laughs> Shave. Well, yeah, I guess you guys can climb somehow. Even without hands. Maybe they, oh, there was that creepy image of the confidant that stood straight up. And it turned out the hooves were just like gloves on top of the hands. <laughs> Shame corn. This right here. Um, hey, maybe a spinning wheel slash shearing corner to turn our wool into yarn at some time in place at the shame corner. Um, we can have a spinning wheel and drop spindles set up right alongside sheep making natural dyes from bark and berries. And weave sheep to make fabrics from the sewing sheep and knitting sheep and oh my god. <laughs> Ying needs hugs is just like writing their own story right about now. <laughs> to be fair, somebody did have like, what? Engineer sheep and a freaking library sheep and shit. Got all kinds of sheep in this forest. Like the Adventure Time deer. Oh my god, I forgot about the Adventure Time deer. That shit was horrific. Just like drops off its things and gets ready to fight. <laughs> what if we did that thing with trees where you coax the branches to grow where you want and made a big open-faced living tree house for the papes? We could whittle tiny furniture and make tiny clothes and tiny bedding and tiny wool pillows and tiny tea sets and tiny... Ying needs hugs has a lot of energy <laughs> i do like the idea i don't know what it looks like though let me google what an actual spinning wheel looks like for wool wool spinning wheel oh it does just okay it looks exactly like a normal like spindle like rapun not rapunzel who was the one who like hurt their finger uh, the, the rumple stilt skin one uh, anyway wait was this sleeping beauty who pricked her finger on a spinning wheel Mm. It was. I'm an idiot. And I think Rumple Stiltskin. Okay. We could have one of those in the background. If we have space. Spinning wheel. Still not dodging the allegations that I'm going to put you guys on a Catherine wheel, but this is fine. Spinning wheel for wool. He spun straw because he spindled straw into gold. Rumple Stiltskin. Okay. So he is linked to it as well. He's linked to a spinning wheel as well. It's not the same story. Okay, I'm just an idiot. <laughs> oh, bookmark this one. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's Sakumi's old one. We've already seen that one, but we did not retweet it. Oop. Here are my ideas. Oh, that's the Sakumi one. <laughs> from the tag itself, the shame corn farm grown from confidant sins. If thrown in the shame corn, it means you have a lot of sins and need to throw it in the field to make the corn grow. Now, you see, you say it's the sins that make the corn grow. But what if we just never let the confidants out of the shame corn field? And so bad confidants that get sent to the shame corn field then end up becoming fertilizer for the shame corn. And then we eat the delicious shame corn. It's not technically cannibalism. The confidant's body is just feed the corn and then the corn feeds us see it's one step away from cannibalism they become the children of the corn that's fucked up yeah it is i've never said it was not fucked up it's all part of the fun shame corn with a sheep skull okay this is how we get the sheep skull in <gasps> oh with a sheep skull and at night the sheep skull has light coming out of it like a 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 jack-o-lantern perfect okay that's not incredibly spooky so much as it's more like <laughs> the fact that we already knew it was going to be creepy how did i end up in this cult i don't know cloudines how did any of us end up here <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have a sheep skull in the shame corn. Maybe even like, no, not up on a stick. I like the idea of it being down on the ground. That's goofy. Yeah, it's like cute spooky. <laughs> Will-O-Wisp lantern skull. That's what I was thinking. Like, I was wondering, do I want it to be like orange light coming out of the skull? So it just feels like there's like a candle in there and it's cute and adorable. Or do I want it to be like a glowy blue and purple kind of like spirity kind of light? 
Could even be green if we were going for like a spirity will of the wisp kind of feeling. It's turning into fantasy horror, I see. I mean, yeah, the shepherd story is going to be like dark fantasy, so it is going to be fantasy horror. Um, I think like the first few chapters of Urha when you're first learning about the world and you realize how disgusting humans are and how magic would not make us better people. <laughs> Blue would be a bit more ominous. Yeah, I think it just depends on where it goes in the shot. Because obviously there's going to be the campfire in the middle that's going to be like a reddish light. And then on one side for sure there's going to be glowing mushrooms. They'll probably be blue. On another side there'll probably be firefly light. Which will probably go with green. Green seems like a good color for fireflies. Um, so yeah, it just depends on where we put the shame corn, what it's around. Because you don't want clashing colors. So we'll see. Uh, remember to drop your ideas in the shame corn. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Adiamono. For shame corn, why not have tree houses with bridges that connect everybody's house? Or even mini restaurants. I'm not sure if this is their art. Because the sheep are very different from the background. <laughs> this is an adorable image, though. I do like this. Again, very Lothlorian. So we've already got this in our list. But that's very cute. Thank you for sharing, Adiamono. That's stunning. Yeah, it is. That's beautiful right there. The thatched houses. The Yeah, the thatched... The roofs. The thatched roofs. For the love of God, Fuchan. Mikyas tea. Maybe something that gives the light such warm feels, such as a campfire or an oil lantern or butterfly firefly. Such for Damn. This person was ahead of the curve. <laughs> we got there eventually. <laughs> so yeah, we've already got that. Thank you so much, Mikyas tea. Shame corn from Yanez. What is... Oh. <laughs> a sheep coming into the house with the cooking sheep and then there's just the cooking sheep left and the word help coming out of a boiling pot of water. I... I see. <laughs> the chef sheep. The cooking companion sheep. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Do we reference Cooking Companion? We could have the knife from Cooking... The knife from Cooking Companion is very basic looking, though. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe there's something else to reference from Cooking Companions, but I mean, we've done enough cannibalistic games. This should be fun. I love that. <gasps> Jail for timeout sheeps, maybe? Yeah, okay. We're going to have... Oh, let me put that on here as well. Um, What do you call those? That Casks. Casks. One of which as a sheep stockade style. You don't know what's happening in the cask. Maybe maybe it's just a basic stockade. Or maybe they're being milked in there. Who knows? The chompettes. See, I thought about the chompettes and then I was like, that's too adorable. They have cute little cat mouths and shit. Um, I just don't think that would fit the aesthetic. Cold of the Lamb. I love Cold of the Lamb. That was such a good game. <laughs> We could have the cold of the lamb hat, like, in the background somewhere. Like, the little crown that sits on top of the lamb's head. That'd be a good reference. I did like cold of the lamb. We played it for quite a bit. Coats of the lamb hat. That's a maybe. Actually, yeah, let me move that to the maybe list. Bum, 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 bum. Coat of the lamb hat. Code of the Lamb super updated. I heard they're also going to update Slay the Princess in 2014, which I'm very excited about. Looking forward to diving into Slay the Princess again and seeing some brand new endings. Juju BB. We really need a designated toilet area. We can't be doing Code of the Lamb in our forest. That's what the lake's for. No, I'm kidding. That's what the shame corn's for. You can fertilize the... No, not fertilize. Fuck, that's a different kind of activity. Um... What's the word I'm looking for? Fertil... Do they just call it fertilite? No. Why is my brain not working? What's the shit that's horse... Manure. Manure. What do you call it when you spread manure, though? Huh. My brain isn't working. But no. No toilets for you guys. It is fertilized. Fertilize the soil. Oh. For some reason, that doesn't make sense to my brain. Because <laughs> as soon as I said fertilize, I was thinking of the whole, like, the ear of corn, like, country girls make do. 
<laughs> thing. And I was like, yeah, no, not that type of fertilization. Um, okay, yeah, fertilizing the soil with manure. Um, uh, it's off screen. We don't need a toilet in the middle of our background. Eesh. Brain lagging again. Yeah, brain was just like, that ain't right. <laughs> not that. <laughs> Hey man, that's why it's called shame core. <laughs> you know what? You shouldn't have any shame while doing that. There's nothing shameful about that. <laughs> Enjoy your time with yourself. Love yourself physically as well as mentally. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm done. I'm done. We're moving on. <laughs> Eleanor. Dog, cat, and cat snoozing under a tree or a wood carving of them. We definitely need dog, cat, and cat in this one somewhere. We will find a place to put them. <laughs> yeah, we'll have dog, cat, and cat in this background somewhere. I liked the little hobbit hole that um, Hoo Hoo made. I do like the idea of dog in a hobbit hole. Do, do, do. Like maybe they'll all be together. It might be cute. Mm, inside the tent. We could have one of the cats inside the tent. One of the cats probably hunting something. Probably like, yeah, on top of the... On top of the roof is probably pretty good for Psycho Bitch, aka Cat with a K. Cat with a C, yeah, probably like just sticking her head outside the tent. And then, yeah, dog. I like the idea of dog having a, habit, a hobbit hole. He loves to dig holes and then he lays in them. If he had like a hole that could actually like be covered over the top, I think he would fucking love that. <laughs> so, yeah, dog in a hobbit hole. <laughs> I think he just digs holes and then lays in them. I think that's probably due to breeding, due to the fact that Caucasian shepherds were like raised in meadows and mountains and supposed to like hide next to their flock. And then like if a bear or a wolf or anything big showed up, that's when the Caucasian shepherds would like jump out and scare them away. But yeah, we're going to hobbit hole. That's somewhere. Keeps them cool. Yeah, I figured that. Actually, living underground is really good for, like, that. It's always, like, underground houses are always way warmer in the winter and way colder in the summer. They kind of just, like, do the whole, like, uh, do the, the insulation by itself. Ground is good insulation, yeah. So, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe they dig a hole just big enough that they can just stick their heads out of it, but their body, like, sinks in. So, yeah, it keeps them cooler in the hot weather and warmer in the cold weather. Do, do, do. do sheep play with doggo and cats? They totally could. I can imagine cats with a K would definitely attack sheep. <laughs> Teeny sheep sized master sword for training. Adorable. We can't do a master sword because again, um, blah, 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 blah. Copyright. However, we could have like a tiny little sword and shield for some sheep. When, if we have a train. Oh yeah, we could have it next to the punching bag actually. Um, where's punching bag? The kettle buff sheep. Uh, where'd the punching bag go? Fuchan punching bag. Tiny sword and shield. But having a sword and a stump be copyrighted too? Hell no. Just because they've done that in Zelda doesn't mean they haven't done that in tens of thousands of other things as <laughs> well. <laughs> Apple F. Can we have an apple tree so that we know where the apples you bite come from? Locally sourced. Can we have an abundance of sheep since we live in the forest, like above trees or just walking or creepily staring at the audience in the background with different props? I I don't think we're going to go with different props. I think we're going to make the confidants in this background basically look like sheep. But they won't have like the little hats or the little takoyaki or anything. <laughs> I love the idea of them just... I, I, I do like the idea of one just staring deadpan into the audience while the rest of them are like going about like grazing and chilling and being normal there's just one who's just like hey how you doing out there i know this is a live stream i'm watching you right now you think you're watching me but it's the other way around nice creepy sheep yeah, we'll definitely have sheep in the background. The apple tree sounds good. We're going to have lots of trees anyway. But apple tree should be fine. That's a special sheep. Don't worry about that sheep. <laughs> projector screen and campfire. Definitely going to have the campfire. Like I said, no projector screen. 
After trading all day, confidants will gather around the campfire and watching Fuchan stream and chill together. No, you'll be watching the shepherd standing in front of you guys, addressing you guys, telling you stories for his travels over the decades. That's a cute little image too, though. I like that. I like how this person, Ting Yu, this is lovely, just a little sheep on top of a real life forest image. It's so funny. Hashtag shame port. I think a butterfly like Morgana. Perfect. Yes, we're doing that. You hunting. Gotta have a reference to Father Morgana. Did we have one in this current one? Oh, we did, but it was just a wig. It was... Yeah, we had a wig for the maid. We didn't actually have anything directly from Father Morgana. So yeah, that'll be nice. We have like the Morgana butterfly flying around. Morgana can join us in our new home. Um, b -b 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 the hair, yeah. We're going to be herded by the doggo. That's his whole thing. He is a Caucasian shepherd. He's all about shepherding sheep. <laughs> um, this one is Japanese. I saw a certain manga and thought I wanted an apple tree. Even a flower pot would be fine. What an apple tree, whether it's blooming, bearing fruit, or whatever it looks like. Okay. Ringo no ki, right? Um, is that apple tree? Ringo no something. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's ki. Ki means tree. No, ki means wood. Shit, how do you say wood? Obese rats. Oh. <laughs> I kind of like that shit. Um, oh, key is tree? Awesome. Awesome. So is that key? Is that their key? I'm not sure. Um, Kim is a tree. Kim could be a tree. Kind of want a beast rats. A beast rat would be good. We need two of them, though. <laughs> Fuck. Part of me also wants them bouncing like Booba. And that would be very distracting, unless they were, like, tiny. We'll see if we can sneak those in somewhere. That's going into maybe. We've already got a Morgana reference, but if we can get some obese rats in there. Just a pair of obese rats would be perfect. Tiny, 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 like hiding in some hole in a tree or something. Or on some tree, like, branch. Just kind of bouncing up and down. <laughs> and then, then, then there has to be, like, one confidant just staring at them. Just... <laughs> Bouncing on the mushroom? No, that's too far. That's that's where we're just straight up making porn out of our background. God damn it. Oh, resident chocobo. Maybe for all the confidants of shed slash barn, with a little sheep going in and out or snoozing inside in a big board of wool. If the background has different times of day. Ooh. I didn't even think about that, about the idea of like moving the sheep around depending on the time of day. That could be kind of sick. Yeah, I guess they wouldn't be around the campfire during the day. They'd be out, like, working and stuff. Hmm. This project is becoming more and more expensive. <laughs> okay. Shed slash barn. We're going to have, like, tree things, so that'd be cool. Have, like, yeah, sheep up in the trees. That would be cool. Yeah, it would. Lamb recipes pinned on the wall. We're not going to really have an inside, so we can't do that, unfortunately. This one is going to be outside for the most part. You're just going to see a tiny bit of the inside of a tent. I don't know if I want to put like a... Hmm, like a big old logging... Logging? Log house. Because the shepherd does obviously live in a house. He doesn't actually live in a tent. But he lives in like a log house. I don't know if I want to put that there. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like when we start to draw things together. Log cabin? Yes, that. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Log cabin. Oh my god, somebody else did the milk thing. Well, what if outside now we can't have a shame corner? So maybe a shame tree instead or just a field of corn. There we go. We're going to have the shame corn corner. <laughs> maybe a cookbook. Oh, we could. Yeah, we're going to have some books. So one of them could be a cookbook. A pile of books. Yeah, we'll go through that when we get to that. So chewing did. It's just milk, to be fair. It's just a big old cask of milk. I wonder how that would taste. I mean, milk expires pretty quickly. Making a full cask of it is a bad idea as is. I, I, we're still doing the stockade cheap cask thing, though. It'll be fine. Chewing has lots of ideas. Holy shit. These sort of hanging glass terrariums, but inside you can see things like mini houses and flowers and etc. 
to represent some of the games we played, like the Fatamoru Mana or Levitating Ocean with a boat for dredge. Fuck, that sounds beautiful. <laughs> Hanging off of the trees would be perfect. Oh, God. It's so tiny. <laughs> Sheep wind chimes. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about this. I think it would be too tiny. I'll add that one as a maybe too. But I'm thinking, yeah, with the way that the trees are going to be mainly in the background, I think like little terrariums hanging off of them. Especially since we're going to have so many, like we're going to have the lanterns hanging off of them. Um, and the tree houses up above. We might be able to get those in. I was thinking that would be a good way for like expressing different parts of the story as well. Um, little terrariums hanging from trees. Okay, that's in the maybe pile. That is a beautiful idea. I love that idea. I'm just not sure if... Oh, this is the end. Perfect. I'm just not sure if we're going to be able to actually fit that into a background-sized drawing. Oh, and we got a few more while we were streaming. Okay, I will do these ones to the new... To the oldest version of this. And then we'll be taking ideas from chat. And I'll start my drawings. This is... This. Legatus Dreamcatcher. What would a Legatus Dreamcatcher look like? <laughs> Maybe it could work depending on the perspective. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why I put it in the maybe pile. It's a beautiful idea, and it's a really good way to straight up, um, like, put in a lot of references to other things. Like Chewing said, yeah, it'd be very easy to just, like, show some of the locations that way and be able to include them that way. Or also, once we, like, fleshed out more of the Shepherd story, we could put in, like, different parts of the storyline that we've been to so far. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, my sheep's image. Yeah. Luthier, how about cat and cat sleeping with us like this? And at night, there are some buff sheeps protecting us in the background with glowing eyes. <laughs> I like the idea of the glowing eyes a lot. Glowing eyes, I really like. Coming out from the tree line, I'd imagine. And yeah, you guys can have catsuits. That works for me. Kind of looks like the membership post this month. We can have, yeah, the catsuits just laying on a sheep. Well, yeah, cat with a C. Cat with a K. More aggressive. Cat with a K will probably be hanging out with the obese rats, honestly. <laughs> cat with a C, you guys can have on your back. There can be one on top of the confidant. Dog in a hobbit hole. That's somewhere. One on a comfies back. that works for me adding the obese rats that could work just giving them a little tap every few seconds and making it do the jiggle <laughs> but damn it <laughs> Genyanya. sorry this is the embarrassing thing that i just sketched with my finger for one thing it looks beautiful i think that an iconic half of a sandwich deserves its place somewhere in the picture fuck me it does take me hours to eat half a sandwich. <laughs> Shit. I could be okay with that. That could be next to the infusion station. It could just be like someone abandoned their sandwich while they were working. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Free stump with an axe and equipment for tea infusions. Half a sandwich. At least it wasn't chicken salad. You guys have finally moved on from the expired chicken salad. I'm proud of you guys. Ooh, Eva Jamfish. Hot stew spring. I mean, hot spring <laughs> in the winter forest would be nice. See, now you're speaking my language. If we could use it to boil the confidants, <laughs> then that becomes a whole new level of fun. It's got utility that way. It's not just, you know, being too nice. <laughs> sheep stew hell yeah they used to cook that way in ancient ireland they dig like a giant hole um they'd like start a massive like campfire and put big huge stones on the fire so the stones got incredibly hot and then they'd throw the stones into the hole with a bunch of water in it and that's how they'd boil things they'd put like a whole like yeah entire like cow horse or 
pig or whatever they were cooking into the water and then yeah just throw the really hot rocks into it and it would all boil up the water real quick we just want hot spring relaxation <laughs> well i'm not sure if there's going to be space for it guys but i will like and retweet this because this is a beautiful image look at these two little sheep having their little bowls these two under the blanket this one's starting a bed this is adorable i'm gonna eat all of them um okay we'll put that in the maybe or it could just be the lake itself. We could just have some sheep in the lake. You could say you can magic. Use some magic to make it warm or cold. We still cook lobsters this way, I think. Really? I thought they just boiled the water normally on top of like normal... Like an oven. <laughs> like with hobs. <gasps> this man. Hey, we need delicious lamb. Shepherd needs a fence to count sheeps. Aw, this is just an adorable little image. <laughs> You can't even see their faces. They're just little clouds jumping along. Thank you, Chibbe. James Corn, last minute suggestion. Adding Spanish moss to any tree branches for the dark aesthetic. That is gorgeous. I've never seen that before. It kind of turns it into a willow tree. Willows are one of my favorite trees because they do have that like dangly down aesthetic. It's really nice. I didn't know there was moss that could do that as well. The moss combined with the English ivy as well. Let's fucking go. Okay, adding that, because yeah, we do like those kinds of trees. They're very spoopy. They can glow in the dark to put light. Hmm. There could be like mushrooms growing off of this lighting up. I love willows and wisteria. Wisteria is nice too. And sycamore trees, just because their little seeds like spin down like helicopters. <laughs> Having raised sheep, there needs to be at least a little meadow space for the confidants and at least a makeshift barn or tent for them when the weather is too hot. That sounds like a them problem, Lynette Ravenborn. If they can't figure out how to keep cool themselves with a lake beside them, they just don't deserve to be here. They just don't deserve to be here. Your boy Mel, tea party. Aw, a little video with a little sheep in the background. He could technically slip a video in here. She'd have to be tiny though, that's the problem. <laughs> this is an adorable little image though. Hmm. We also have a NVIDIA asset that we can just move around. We don't really need that. <laughs> All these shame corn posts make me realize that I'd probably go to a different forest. They're so beautiful. Yeah, most people have been going to the training forest. Now we're slowly making it into a livable forest within the next few months. The horrors hiding in the corner scary, but yes, perfect. That's what I want. Just glowing eyes coming out of a little dark circle. Thank you, your boy Mel. <laughs> Okay, that's all of them. Now we can jump into my version, which is going to be terrible. Oop. Okay. Move my desk, get comfortable. Guess we'll cook then. Hell yeah, Evie. Oh, summer long. An Nvidia doll. Oh. I'm not sure if that helps much, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so what individual things do we have to draw that didn't get images? Um, Legata's 505 tree I can find images of. Platforms between multiple trees we have images of. Spinning wheel for wall. We don't have that. Shit. Which means I have to draw a spinning wheel. <laughs> no! I can't draw circles. Can't draw anything, really. But we'll attempt make the color brown well, that's a pretty nice brown okay let's change the music up let's make it a different one of the themes how about the happy one there we go let's get a bit more energy okay Spinning wheel has like a giant wheel, no duh. But then it also has like a little circular bit in the middle. Which sticks out with a handle. This looks dumb as shit. That looks like a foot. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> little sticky outfit, which then has like a Bulb and then a freaking handle. That looks a bit better. It still looks like a foot and a leg, but that's okay. So it looks like this. Spinning wheel. 
um, and then a long bit that goes up the top. I don't know how all of these things work, but it looks like that looks like a penis. That's um, that's what they look like in this. Um, we'll just do one shape like this. <laughs> that still looks kind of dirty, but not as bad as it was. Um, fuck it, I'm not drawing a spinning wheel. I can't. No, we're moving on. I'll just send them a normal image of a spinning wheel. <laughs> Oh god, a comfy Korok. I might be able to draw that. Um uh, bum 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 bum. Okay. They got the big old leaf faces. So let's get a nice dark green. I believe should it be it should be the basic like Korok look for a leaf. Bum, 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 bum look like giant hearts and then they have little happy eyes and sometimes mouths I will be like mm. <laughs> that'll do for the mouth adorable bum 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 you were doing good? No, I was not. <laughs> Let me turn this music down to. Oh. I'm like 2%. <laughs> okay. But that, do we want to give it a backpack like Tears of the Kingdom? I kind of do. I think I'd know how to draw a sheep by now, but I don't. Okay. Um... Especially a standing upright sheep. Like, how do you even... This big ol' bubbly head. They got the ears that go down like that. There we go. Big ol' fluffy body. And then... A fluffier body. <laughs> and we want... Back to brown to so give them a little backpack. How would a backpack work on a sheep? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. It just does this. Goes across each of its legs and then it has a big old backpack on the back. It's like as big as its body. Back to white. Big old fluffy body. The legs will go down there. And there'll be four of them. Boop. Boop. This one's sitting like a dog, so... Boop. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect! <laughs> and you can't tell me otherwise. This is a spot-on drawing of a comfy Korok. <laughs> this big old bag. How do I make it clear this is a rucksack? <laughs> we have to 3 d a fire. Okay. There. Now it's a rucksack. Now that's very clear. <laughs> that's a rucksack if I've ever seen one. Perfect. <laughs> Give it a little opening up here. There. Comfy Korok. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Um, let me feel color this at least. Yeah, that's slightly. Oh god. Give me a darker green. Why do I always choose? Oh, this should have a leaf thing for one thing. A stem like that. And I was gonna just be like, oh, it's the leafy veins. That made it look horrible. <laughs> I made it so much worse than it was. Uh, it's fine. It makes it more clear that it's a leaf. Fine. <laughs> we bar a sheep now. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That'll do. File. Export as. 4.png. God, I already have four of these monstrosities. <sighs> okay. Isn't even supposed to be a bar of sheep. It was supposed to be a normal fluffy sheep. But we work with what we've got. <laughs> okay. Clear this. Goodbye, comfy Korok. Okay. 
Mushroom that goes blue. We kind of already got from other people. Shame corn. Oh, yeah. Shame corn with a sheep skull. That we have to do. Okay, so. His face is so yippee. <laughs> I mean, they got to have that kind of energy, right? <laughs> corn going up. Little corn cob. Chill is a bit too bright. That looks good. Um, corn, 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 corn. Dump some color. Perfect. Okay, now copy that 10,000 times. Oh, God. I'll just do the bare minimum, as I've always done in life. <laughs> That's the most corn? Exactly. Small corn? I mean, fine. I have different sizes of corn. God, no, there were size queens in chat right now. This one's going to be thick. This one's going to be tiny. This one's going to be huge. This one's just going to be average. There we go. Bloody butcher corn. Why do people keep saying, what does that mean? Bloody butcher corn. Oh, it's just a red corn. Hmm. No, <laughs> I don't like the look of it. What is red? Is red corn just pure red rather than red brown? Red corn. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know these even existed. I wonder if they taste different. But nah, I don't think it will. Well, it might fit the aesthetic. We'll see. But now we'll just make it all yellow. It's just shame corn. This one's a chode. <laughs> this one's tiny. Look at him go. And this one's just huge. Yeah, that's some beefy corn. There we go. And now we... F oh, that one's going to be broken. I already see that one was going to explode. Oop, 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 oop. There we go, shame corn. Okay, now, sheep skull. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> Blue corn's a thing as well? Holy shit. I had no idea there was a blue one. It's red because some confidants have died there. <laughs> oh no. It's like cursed corn. Awesome. Um, Sheep skull. I think I'd know how to draw this too. But I don't. Okay. It's got like a big old eye. That way it makes sense. If I do it like... And then there's a big bulbous part. Sheep's eyes are huge. Goes down like this. Kind of looks like a bird's mouth. It's very, very angular. That bit of the skull comes up to there. Goes down. Um, this bit actually has teeth in it as well. Teeth. And a giant eyeball. And of course, the horns. Which are more brown than white. Um, shit, I drew this too, <laughs> too low to the ground. Um, okay, this sheep is going to have tiny horns. It's fine. It's okay, buddy. We'll fix that in post-processing. We'll have a big horn someday. <laughs> there we go. Sheep skull. Mm. I like that. And then we have to... Make like orangey gorilla. Red. 
reddish orange. Yes, like that. I'll just put in text. Bum, bum, bum. At night, eyes below. Perfect. <laughs> Rip sheep, homie. Hey, he became a decoration for the forest. I'm sure he's very proud of what he's done for us. He is a legend. <laughs> Maybe corn turns pink like Sakura. No. <laughs> that would definitely not fit with the aesthetic we've got so far. I forget. Hey, M, what's up? Okay, that's number five dot PNG. Sacrificial sheep, very literally. Bichan, your skull looks pretty good. Thank you. I didn't think it was the worst. It, it's okay. <laughs> Definitely could have been better, but it, it works. Okay. Goodbye, shame corn. You have served me well. Okay, what are we up to? Done that. Hammocks and a hollowed out tree. We've got shame corn. We've got tent. Campfire, big lake. Um, what did we say about the stump? Did I save the stump? What number did I save the stump as? Um, to do it was in documents. Stump drawings, right? Stump was number two. Okay. File open. Two dot png. We have to add to this. We were going to add. Three stump with an axe and half a sandwich. Right. We're going to add half a sandwich. Bum, bum, bum. What the fuck color is this? I guess it's white, right? <laughs> like the bread of a sandwich and then it's brown on the other side. Sure. Um, it's like crust. It could be like brown bread. Yeah, let's go with brown bread. That'll be easier to differentiate. Nice light brown. No chicken salad. No chicken salad. Dead meme. No more chicken salad ever again. Okay. Come it open. Have like half a baguette kind of sandwich. Um, with some ham. Ham is pinkish. <laughs> what the fuck kind of color is? Ham's more like a reddish pink. Um, trying to find colors is honestly some of the hardest parts of this. I guess ham is more red than pink, actually. Yeah, it's like a... There we go. It's like this kind of paleness. Um, there. Ham. Then some like leafy greens. And of course, some tomato. Can't have sliced meat sandwich without some tomato and of course sheep's cheese won't have anything in the forest unless it's related to sheep some way there we go and back to brown for the bottom of the sandwich oh this was 3d i really should have added the last sideways um well, this is fine. We'll go this way. Um, onto the green. Yep, 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 yep. This this looks fine. Everything looks fine. Don't worry about it. Red for the tomato. Oh, that'll that'll do. We don't need the cheese going all the way. Okay. File export overwrite to. There we go. Got half a sandwich for everybody to enjoy. Every sheep can have one single bite of that sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking sandwich. Thank you. I thought so. Okay. E kettle, wooden bridge into the water. Oh yeah, the wooden signboard. I like the idea of that. Need our dark brown again. Um. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Trying to think of like the aesthetic. We want for a signboard. 
I guess just, a, yeah, just a stick out of the ground. Just an old battered one, I'd imagine. Um, what the fuck? Why do I have select on? Yo. Panera Catering. I don't think they deliver all the way to the forest. <laughs> Unfortunately. It should have like a big top one that just says the forest. Boom, bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Sure. Bum, 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 bum. And then, yeah, things coming off of it. They're just like. Yeah, just very old and battered. With a couple of these kinds of things. Um. Maybe one in the middle. There's like an arrow pointing up. Just say straight ahead. Yeah. I don't know. We'll probably have a few more. Like, we'll probably have like two to three to the right and a couple to the left. And just the general idea. Um, boom, boom, boom. Slightly darker brown. Like the music? I'm glad. I love this music. Is it new? Technically, it's really old. <laughs> but I've repurposed it. The forest. Shit. <laughs> Close enough. City of Crossing. Um, bu -bu -bum. What else did we have? The Republic. How many signs do we need, Fuchan? 1,000. I don't know. A couple. Probably like six, just to put in some cute little references. Training area. Finally, Institute of Mystics. Perfect. Okay, signboard. Oh, export as 6.g. There, PNG. VSF is a cute idea. Oh, VSF's good. Yeah, we can add VSF as well. <laughs> Overwrite 6. It's just floating there for now. Okay. Goodbye, signboard. Served us well. Okay. Fitting wheel, we've done. Platforms, casks, dog in a hobbit hole. Yes, apple tree, glowing eyes of sheep at night. Perfect. Okay, now we get to the... Oh, yeah. Now we've got the punching bag. Do, 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 do. Now we get to the painful part. How the fuck <laughs> do we put it all together? This is the question. So, if we imagine this being our full and complete background. Oh God, I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to do this today. But one thing, my tummy is hurting really bad for some reason. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let's see. We definitely need like a tent in the foreground and a campfire. Okay, let's start with a campfire question is how big do we want the campfire this is the thing there's so many things to include now did you eat something um i just had my normal eggs for breakfast so i don't know why it's just probably being weird did you drink enough yeah i've been drinking lemon water all morning almost gotten through a liter and a half i don't know it's just being weird it's fine it's not like devastatingly painful right now it's just kind of uncomfortable it could also be the medication I'm on. It happens from time to time. Cheese, hot it is. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So, fire sticks. This is probably too big already. <laughs> Shit. This is the problem as well. It's during day and night. Fuck, I need multiple layers. Lair, <laughs> new lair. Okay, so we're going to have a daytime one and a nighttime one. The nighttime one's going to be on top of the daytime one. <laughs> so on this layer, 
top layer, which is nighttime, there's going to be a campfire. That's too big for sure. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. And during the daytime, that doesn't exist. Perfect. <laughs> Rest if you need so. Ah, oh, don't worry, I will. Okay, got a campfire. Um, need a stump. Need a stump to cut things up on. We need a tent. Oh god, and we need so many things. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this properly. We definitely need a lake in one side. I'll put that on the left side. It makes most sense to me. So we'll just have like the edge of a lake coming into view over here. And we wanted docks on the lake. We'll probably have a dock like that. But then how does the perspective work on that? Because this is going to be the foreground. Around here. So fuck. <laughs> shit, fuck, fuck, shit. <laughs> No, um, this is the foreground, like a campfire, mm. I don't know how the perspective is going to work, I'm not artistic enough to even think about it, my brain just says, it should be fine, <laughs> it, sh it should be fine, um, oh, it's meh, technically I'll be standing on that, but I'll be in the foreground, the artist is going to have to figure this out. Yep. I'm just going to draw my stump. I'm just going to continue. We'll see what happens. Um, so I'm going to be standing here. So we probably want the stump actually over here. Right next to the campfire. That's not dangerous. At Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. This is the problem when we have so many things. I could make it small and in the background. Make it like here. Oh, that's still too big. I make it that small, you won't be able to see all the stuff on it. Ah, um, I, I could be technically sitting on it right here. Yeah. Uh, it could be covered up for the most point, and I could just move out of the way to do it. Sure, we'll go with that. Stump, stumpy, stump, stump. Okay. Um, really, I should just be combining things. I'll just draw this in the basic way. That's that. Um, there's going to be an axe behind it. I'm just going to draw the axe in white. Bum, bum, bum. Tiny little axe. Boom, boom, boom. Stuck into the wood. Perfect. What else was there? There was a cup. With a handle. Um, 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 half a sandwich. Just gotta draw the outer layer of the sandwich. Oh, we know what the sandwich is. <laughs> Fuck, that turned into an ice cream cone. Perfect, now it's a burger. <laughs> um, lemon. Apple. Yeah, done. Stump is done. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Just want to say it was so cool when people drew ideas for art commissions. Instead of giving only descriptions, it's so useful in the work process. Yeah, I'm glad I'm going to be able to se send a lot of like good images to the artist as well, rather than just my stuff with descriptions. I know that's going to help them a lot. Okay. We need the tree light. We need a, a tent. Bum, bum, bum. That can come in from the side as well, actually. We basically only need the opening of the tent. So if it just, like, comes in from here. And then we have, like, the open flaps of the tent. Bum, ba, bum. Um, the little spokes that stick into the ground. Shum, shum. And then it's open. And you can probably see... Books, 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 books. Burger is not a sandwich. A burger is a sandwich. Get over it. I'm sorry to tell you, a burger is 100% a sandwich. It's 
meat or other things it is surrounded by bread it's a sandwich um definitely want like layers of books so maybe we'll make a bookcase on one side of the tent Oop. Oop. we'll just make them colorful not a food debate i mean i'm not debate debating i'm just saying a burger is a sandwich it's a type of sandwich you can argue if you want to. You're incorrect. <laughs> it's the same as a hot dog's a sandwich. I love how I do my books. They're just stupid, colorful little lines. Okay, that's enough books. Burger is a sandwich with french fries. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, but sure. <laughs> Hot dogs are a bit different. I mean, you cut the bread down the middle and you put things in it. It's still a sandwich. It's still between things. Okay. So that's that. Did we want cat in there? In fact, we can put a sheep in here. And then we can put cat on top of sheep. And have like a little sheep. Fuck. Then I have to draw a sheep. <laughs> um, fluffy little head. Fluffy little body going backwards. And this is its silly little face. And its floppy little ears. Uh, that looks like a dog. It's fine. It's a sheep. Don't worry about it. It's just... That's 100% a fucking dog. Okay. Gray. Gray for cats's... Bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 do. But my poor ears. What? What happened to your poor ears? Okay. Cat ears. We're just going to draw its head. It's there. It's on top of the sheep's body. The sheep, which looks like a dog, which is not a dog. <laughs> and the cat, <laughs> which looks stupid. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So that's pretty much our foreground done. I probably should have put the campfire down here. Fuck. Let's not question it. Okay, so there's going to be some mushrooms over here that are glowing. Um, what color should they be during the daytime is the question. Let's Google mushroom. Let's see what mushrooms look like. Mushrooms, mushrooms. Yeah, I guess the classic one is like the red one with white spots. In fact, let me look what Laura Shigihara's mushrooms look like. Glow shroom. Rockwen. Oh, they're just bright yellow. Oh shit, that doesn't tell me what they look like during the day. <laughs> um, I guess they, yeah, they never really had a daytime one. They were always in caves. Um, that's fine. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum. we'll make ours glow blue anyway. So what color should they be if they glow blue? I guess blue during the day too, huh? Or just like whitish, brownish. Oh, there are some blue mushrooms. Okay, we can do that. There's like grayish blue mushrooms. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. Teal? Yeah. Go with like a lightish blue. Not too vibrant. Have like little mushrooms. During the day, they just like little blue glue specks on the ground. I've like a bunch of them around here. One of the sheep too. Then at night, this layer, much more vibrant blue. They don't have an additional glowy effect to them. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> I don't think I've ever accidentally zoomed like that before. <laughs> She'll cast a bunch of light on all of these things, especially like this will get some blue light, but then it will also have some red light. 
Yes. And in the middle, it will have like a purplish light. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm not going to draw a dinosaur. Blue and red light. Yeah, it will be like soft blue and red light though. Um. Okay. That's our foreground. Silly old mushrooms. Campfire. Tent. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Those are all the things that need like a lot of detail. So then in the background, do we want a log cabin house? Nah, we'll leave the log cabin out of this. The log cabin will be elsewhere. Um. So, it looks poisonous. Oh yeah, you definitely don't want to eat them. That's a bad idea. <laughs> We're going to have a forest in the background, for sure. I have no idea how to draw a forest. <laughs> Suddenly, like, wait a minute. Let me load up these Twitter images again. There were some good forests in those. Bum, bum. That's a good question as well, of what kind of trees we want. Evergreens are like the typical, but I... Hmm. I tend to prefer perennials. We could have a mix. We could have a bunch. Just many trees. A ton of trees. Yes. I have no idea how to draw that though. Because it's all like. It's just a bunch of green. It's just a bunch of green. Different like shades of green. Um, An entire tree line back here. Draw. Do Christmas tree, <laughs> and then I don't know the big old circular types of trees. They they're gonna get that brown stuff soon. Don't worry. And some whomping willows. <laughs> How do those do? They do like the little danglies. How does one do do these in terrible terrible drawing form? Oh God. Sure. The willow trees, then more circular trees, more tall trees. I don't know. Sure, the baba, and more evergreens. Baba. Bum, 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 bum. Shit, where's our shame corn? Shame corn should be over here. Um, let me start with the shame corn. Children of the Shame Corn. No bit of yellow. Those two are touching tips. They're into each other. Our little sheep skull. That's going to be so tiny now that I think about it. It's going to barely be visible. Oh, God. James Corn Yowie. Oh, don't put it that way. <laughs> oh, God. More trees further beyond. I think we'll begin and end with evergreens. Evergreens are nice. I'm sure the artist can make it look more 3D where there's like more brush coming in from the side like just wah, tree branches sticking their way in uh, I don't know over here like a whole bunch of different like small leaves coming off of a tree bum, 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 bum. I yeah <laughs> okay then we need things hang well first we need trunks gotta have trunks Bum, bum, bum. Roop. 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 Do, 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 do. Uh, I don't know what willows look like. <laughs> this is my very re basic rendition of what trees be. Why does that keep happening? Definitely misclicking something. Okay. 
And then we've got different things coming from different trees. We definitely want brush, brush everywhere, but no one to brush us. Yes. Um, one of these trees is going to be like really well decorated. Oh God, there's going to be a punching bag hanging off of one. Oh, let's just do all these things in white. <laughs> Maybe a punching bag. My face drawn on it. Um, gray hair. Eh. Eh. Yeah, that's my face on the punching bag. <laughs> Can't tell, but it's totally me. Um, ba -ba -bum. fuck. Where am I gonna have mm, the lanterns hanging off? Is that too far away? Why do the tree trunks look like sassy human legs? <laughs> Cause I can't draw. God damn it. <laughs> God damn. I think maybe them being that far in the background will make them <sighs> too small, huh? Maybe I have to make them, like, take up this whole, uh, this whole line, maybe. And then I could add a couple more things in the foreground, but make the trees bigger. Shit. <laughs> I am starting to lose faith in myself. Um, yeah, I should have drawn the trees much bigger. God, I have to erase. No. Let's edit redo. Let's control Z that one. Mm. I can erase them the other way. I can just paint over them. Just paint it away. Nothing can hurt you. You just overlayer it. These were just a happy little accident, and now they're being unaccidented. So we're gonna make them bigger. That one probably could have stayed. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Size 10. That's right, right? Yeah, good. Okay. Paint away your problems. That's more like it. So we'll have like a couple. What the fuck is that? <laughs> is a... Um... Big old scrungly trees. And then like some willow trees. Now I have no room for shame corn. What the fuck is wrong with my spatial awareness? Some big old scrungly. Yeah. Um, whomping trees. That don't get too thick apparently. And then shame corn. Too high. Or too high. There we go. Shame corn. Everyone's happy when they're shame corn. Boop, 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 boop. Perfect. He corrected. I missed the corn with touching tips now. Don't worry. I got you, bro. There you go. <laughs> we got some docking going on. Don't worry. We, could, we couldn't leave that out. Okay. Some shame corn. White sheep skull. Fuck, how do I possibly draw branches and... Uh, uh. Okay, so that gets the skull bigger. That's nice. How do I possibly draw, like, the bridges and the landings between all of these things? But there's so many of them. Oh, God. Uh. And now there's not much of a background. I made it too big. <laughs> I have no spatial awareness. Well, I come to think of it, I'm just going to block most of this anyway. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to give an artist all the individual ideas and be like, use what you can. Don't use what you can't. Um, we definitely... Fuck, we, have, we need the shame pile. Um, shit, fuck. Fuck balls, shit, fuck. Oh, that needs to be on one of the sides. Because the sheep fall in the sea, you don't want them on top of me. So I, I, it needs to be kind of big. We could do it over here. Yeah, this could be. Um, uh, yeah, 
That's the sheep pile. They're falling over there. It's fine. Um, nice bright white wall on the inside. There, a sheep pile. Um, S P, a sheep pile. <laughs> um, dog needs to be buried in the ground around here. Uh, maybe he'll be in the distance. There's a little hole here. And then you'll have dog just. I don't know. Sticking his head out. He's in gray this time. I can't draw anything right now. My brain is broken. I have shut down already. <laughs> Fuchan.exe has stopped working. That's kind of a dog's head. Um. I give up. <laughs> I I do not have the spatial awareness or the artistic ability for this. I get to the point where I'm like, just throw it all in somewhere. I, I'm going to give the artist ideas and let them put in what they can, let them put it where they can. Yeah, my... Um, um, hey guys, <laughs> we're home. How are you doing? I am going to file and export this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to at least upload this to Twitter. This had a reason to happen today. <laughs> 7.png. But yeah, no, I do not have the spatial awareness to fit all the shit that I want in this. And to make it, for one thing, I don't understand perspectives. So small brain. Anyway, okay, we're to the Zatsudan portion of the stream. We have designed our forest. We've decided a bunch of the things we're going to bring with us. We may also try to bring more reference. In fact, yeah, let's do that for the next, like, 10 to 15 minutes before we go full Zatsudan. Are there any references to other, like, old school video games? Well, not old school video games. Just games we've played on the channel, memes we've had on the channel. We've got, like, Shame Corn. We're going to have, like, a Morgana. I didn't draw that. The butterfly. <laughs> We're going to have like a Morgana butterfly. We're going to have like a Rakuen slash Mr. Saito glow shroom. Um, I don't understand perspectives too. At least you can draw, Paddy Tomo. <laughs> My art teacher gave us perspective. Is that a pun? Because I swear to God. <laughs> Lo-fi. The forest is cute. Quasal. Hmm. You know what? Let me just put in here. I'm going to change the half-eaten sandwich to a half-eaten croissant. The croissant could still have meat and cheese and cucumber and uh, tomatoes on it. It can still be a sandwich, but it can be a croissant sandwich. And that way it's a double. Um, wooden signboard, da -ba -da -ba, tree stump, and half a sandwich croissant. Perfect. I don't know how to spell croissant, so I'm going to write it the croissant way with a Q. <laughs> Q U S S no Q U A S S L. Oh my god! Any Omori references in the background? Um, not yet. I can't really think of one right now. Um, Volcano Princess. What would we take from Volcano Princess? They had a lot of weapons in that game, but we didn't really get attached to any of them. It was mainly the dresses we got attached to in Volcano Princess. And we didn't have any, uh, god, clothing areas because I'm an idiot. Um, fuck. <laughs> we could have like a clothing area up in the trees. Frick. Um, yeah, we could have a clothing area like up in the tree bridges stuff. And we could have like one of the dresses. Okay. Clothing area in tree community. I'm just going to write tree community. Dresses. One dress, actually. Dress from Volcano Princess. For a video. Um, perfect. Changing area in public? Hell yeah. It's the forest. Why would you be embarrassed getting changed in front of sheep? <laughs> Something from Alien? We can't really... The first thing my mind went to was flamethrower. It's hard to do something from Alien because that's sci-fi. I mean, we could have like... Eh. I don't want to have like one of the eggs either. Hmm. What else was there in Alien? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. A locker. Again, 
metal. <laughs> what about Prometheus engineer liquid? The black glue, the black goo. I would just look like a puddle of black stuff. It would just look like engine oil. No Zeno eggs. No, no Zeno eggs. We've had enough from Zeno eggs. The cat from Alien. Ah, uh, we've already got two cats. Just a table. <laughs> the camera obscura. No, again, it doesn't fit with the whole like background. Bum, bum. Random. Um, alien could be our Loch Ness monster. Just a xenomorph sheep. Mm -mm. Nah, I don't think we can do alien. Nothing really fits from it that's like iconic that actually would work with the channel, unfortunately. Puppets or scarf from Journey. Ooh. We could definitely have the scarf from Journey, but I mean, the pattern wasn't too bad. Let me look at it. Journey scarf. But yeah, it had all those patterned um, letters on it. Yeah, we can have the journey scarf. We can have that hung up with the other clothes. Journey scarf. Okay. Locker. No, we're not putting any like heavy duty metal in this. It's too industrial. We have clothes washing line for clothes to hang from. Oh, that would probably work better than a clothes rack. Actually, you're right. Drying clothes like between the trees would make a lot of sense. Actually, yeah. So not clothing area, but clothing hung up. Tree community. That works. Could be carvings of things on the tree box. That could. They'd have to be very small things though, because again, the trees are going to be mostly in the background. About a locker from Alien, but made out of wood. People are just going to say it's an outhouse, so no. <laughs> We're not having a tiny boxed room in the middle of a forest. People are just going to say it's an outhouse. Um, white wig from Spirit Hunter. Now, we're going to try to avoid wigs in this one as well because I don't think they'd have wigs. Kenna! Oh, yeah, we can have the rot babies. Um, not sure well where we'll have the rot babies. But I'll just send that. I'm basically just going to send a bunch of ideas. Rot babies. From Kenna. Shrek swamp. We already have a swamp or a lake. Papers, please was fun. Yeah, but again, this is the problem with a lot of the games being modern. It's like, what did we have in papers, please? We had like passports. We had our military outfit. We had guns. <laughs> There's nothing that really we could take from that. <laughs> Maybe not the guitar from Sally Face, but Sally Face carved on one of the trees. Hmm bit too distracting. We still want it to be a bit fitting. Wolf peeking out of the woods. We can have a wolf. We've got a lot of sheep. Hmm. Wolf if possible. That's going into the maybe pile. The obese rats are moving from the maybe pile to the definitely pile. <laughs> oh. Obese rats go up here. Wolves go down here. Wolf if possible. Oh, the Amori picnic blanket. That's a good one. Let me look up the Amori picnic blanket. Did it have color? Amori picnic. Yeah, it was like red and white tartan. We could put that next to the tree stump. We don't want it to be where things are being sliced. But yeah, it could be rather than the entire picnic blanket, maybe just like a picnic basket and then the red like folded up picnic blanket sticking out of it. That works for me. Amori picnic basket. By stump with axe. Um, red fishing rod. Oh hell yeah, fishing rod. Yeah, water. Um. Dredge had some weird laws. I'm pretty sure I can look up. L let me look up Dredge law. Dredge fishing law. Yeah, nobody's uploaded the images. I'll have to go into the actual game. But there were some weird laws in that game. So yeah, we can make the fishing rod look like it's from Dredge. Dredge. Spirit hunted doll. Did we have dolls? Oh. Oh, the second, the, was it the second monster or the third monster? 
that was related to like dolls and ripping the heads off of them. A wild chocobo. <laughs> no chocobos. Loch Ness monster. Probably not a Loch Ness monster. Um, Little Miss Fortune's hat. What is? Oh, the beret. Hmm. Dress might actually be better. Hmm. Do do do. Oh, the baby turtles. Okay, yeah, we'll put a turtle in the lake. <laughs> turtle in the lake. Swimming around. Oh, God, should I have the face? No, no faces on the back, just a turtle. Oh, no, well, that's a reference to. No faces on the turtle. <laughs> Hair plant. Oh, God, no. If you have sparkles, that's a nod to Little Misfortune. Ooh, fancy. True. I mean, we've got the fireflies. I think we're fine on Little Misfortune. Night version with face? Never. <laughs> As a reference to TGCF, a meat bun with a bite mark on it. Um, Nah, because this is going to be like Western fantasy. I'm also trying to, yeah, avoid like Eastern inspirations for this one. Um, Fortunately, which does cut out a lot of like the Dan May. There are definitely references that can be made to Dan May though. Um... Thinking of Shillian bandages right now. Well, Hua Chong has like 10,000 different things on his body <laughs> from different pieces of jewelry and shit. Erming. Ah, oh, Erming's too direct. Shit. Like on book covers. Oh, yeah, it could totally be one of the, Like the books are definitely going to be like the same as last time. Books that exist on my bookshelf as well. Um, A death totem from Until Dawn. Ooh. I'd be pretty good, actually. That would also just look like it was like magic protection or something. We got moss and lichen on the trees. You're damn well right we do. Or we're gonna. It's supposed to look all magical and creepy. Um, okay. Minecart or treasure chest from Zelda? I think we already had a ref. Oh, we've got comfy Korok. So yeah, we're not gonna have that. I put comfy Korok on here. No, let me write that on the list as well. Korok. Okay, I think we've gotten enough. Oolong Tiger? No. Oolong is still too painful a memory for me. <laughs> the Pristine Blade and Mirror from Slay the Princess? Hmm. Look up the Pristine Blade. Slay Princess. Knife. That's very simplistic looking. Hmm. I would I even put? I guess I'd put that next to the stump as well. Yeah, we can put the. That's actually pretty easy. Slay the princess knife next to stump. This looks like it's there for cutting up fruit. <laughs> Final Fantasy book written by Joshua. Ah, maybe. What else was in Final Fantasy? Torgo. They got so many emblems, but they never actually showed them. You got, like, given an emblem from every town you went to. I was annoyed they didn't show those. Um, sword. Yeah, surprisingly, not many embellishments on Clive's outfit. Compared to, like, past Final Fantasies where, like, everybody has, like, earrings or necklaces so that people can, like, buy them. Huh, surprising. Something from Touch Starved. But Starved isn't a very long game to share. <laughs> like, the demo doesn't have too much in it. Okay, anyway, we're done for now. I'll think about some more in the future. Um, If you have any you want to add after this, feel free to continue using the hashtag um, ShameCorn on Twitter. I uh, will continue to look at them. But yeah, for now, we've got quite a few references. They're good for now. Okay. Chat mode. What's up, everybody? Let me grab my comfy grabber. We will just talk for a little bit before we end stream. Pretty short stream today. But yeah, I don't know why my tummy's hurting so much. Okay. Comfy grabber is active. Let me grab some of these oh, super chats. Rain jingle bar. Atsufu. It's fun to see Comfy's ideas of the forest. Having back bad back and leg pain today lately due to cold temperatures, so your streams made me relax. 
TY and bye. Ah, thank you so much, Rain. I hope you feel better soon. Thank you for donating the food funds, but I'm glad to hear that the stream helped a bit. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Fine win-win. Yesterday, a year ago, I decided to become a confidant, and now it's my favorite community. Thank you, Fuchan and confidants for creating such a comfy place. My favorite places in our forest will be on the swing and next to the books. Shit, I need to add the swing. Wait, that is in the list. Okay, I just didn't draw it. There's going to be so many things hanging from trees. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Yeah, book corners are always good. Thank you. Welcome back to the membership for a year in a row, Klein Win Win. Thank you so much for the huge donation of the food funds. And I hope you have a lovely evening. Is there something wrong with the grabber? No, these are just old super chats, so the comfy grabber can't grab them. I can only grab new ones with the comfy grabber. Lala, thank you so much for the donation of the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream today, and I hope you have a lovely evening. And try princess. Thank you. Oh my god, that's a big donation today. Again, no message, but thank you for always supporting the channel, Tribe Princess. Hope you had a lovely day today, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. Lisa Sia. I like to have many books. The library will be great. You can read all kinds of books. It'd be better to have the Sherlock Holmes series. I'm not actually a fan of Sherlock Holmes. I'm not going to lie. Mystery novels in general aren't super exciting to me. Like, I never read, like, Agatha Christie or anybody like that either. It's not really me i don't know <laughs> i prefer fantasy and sci-fi and like huge worlds rather than that mystery wrapped into those kinds of things is always fun but yeah i'm just not about the like realistic mystery at time i reincarnated as the glizzy lord what a name <laughs> thank you for donating a hot dog to the forest <laughs> hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us and angst don't forget angst oh obviously you can't have fantasy without angst whether it's pining over like past lives or like the horrible shit that goes on in the world. Who knows? A locked room style stuff more. Mm. Ah, see, I prefer that. I don't know why. I prefer that on like movie and TV show. When I'm reading a novel, I don't know. I guess if there was like a mystery set in like a sci-fi location or like a fantasy location, it would probably work for me. I just need something more just than the mystery. I need magic, I need monsters, I need mayhem, I need questions about people's lives, questions about humanity. <laughs> library has everything. Yeah, not my library. My library is very specifically catered. <laughs> Licks. You can also Google those things and add reenactments to it if you want more accurate stuff. I'm in a reenactment group and we do lots of research. Oh yeah, searching like anything and then LARP always like saves me a bunch of trouble when I'm looking for like medieval kind of fantasy stuff like what did a tent look like back in like the 1400s let's just search tent larp and then boom you get like a dozen different super expensive tents have a nice fantasy looking feeling to them it looked like a tent thank you Mikhail. <laughs> like you need another genre other than mystery yeah exactly it can't just be mystery set in like a modern day library or having said that i did read the fucking like the da vinci code and angels and demons I read the Dan, Dan Brown stuff, which was, yeah, basic. It combined the mystery with sci-fi, though. In, so, in some parts, it was sci-fi. In some parts, it was, like, theology and stuff. Either way, that had enough, like, interesting stuff that I got distracted. Um, That's what I mean. It just needs to be more than, like, Agatha Christie novels just bore me. I get the idea is supposed to be, like, a whodunit. You're trying to figure it out. There's a big surprise at the end. There's always, like, all those twists. I just need more than that. <laughs> what about Altered Carbon? I love Altered Carbon. That, again, amazing sci-fi. Um, Kami, thank you for donating the few funds. Uh, since Shepard is a fantasy magic AU, will sheeps have magic too? Yes, they will. Um, In fact... How much can I say? This isn't really spoilers. Um... And this is what I'll say. We have comfy sonas and we have sheep sonas. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that that fits into the shepherd's world. There are sheep sonas and there are comfy sonas. And both work for both. Yes. <laughs> I think that probably completely gave it away, but fuck it. Thank you for donating the Foo Funds, Kami. Yes, the sheep have magic. Um, M. Jane, thank you for donating the Foo Funds. No message, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining the stream. Please rest well and take it easy. He couldn't resist. Yeah, I think I can give that away. I think... 
Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. Trying to balance this. Um, I can't talk about the thing on membership without cutting out people that aren't in the membership. So I'll just say one thing about the last membership post. Um, I, I told people that I'm making a very specific animation. Um, I told them what the animation is going to be and who it's being made by. I won't share that with any of you guys. That is membership exclusive content for now. Um, but there is going to be a animation made in a couple of months. Uh, what I will say is the animation is going to share that pretty much. So that'll be spoiled pretty easy. So I can basically just say, yeah, confidants in the forest are both sheep and have human forms. That's what I'll say. We won't go any further than that. But yeah, in the animation, you will see that in the shepherd's forest, there aren't just um, sheep running around and dog and cats. But there are also, um, in that case, they take the form of children with white hair and sheep horns. Um, but they can have other forms as well. But yeah, that's how far we'll go with that. Because <laughs> that will be spoiled by the animation whenever it comes out anyway. And that will be before we even properly start the story of the shepherd. So that's fine. <laughs> shepherd has his own little babies. Chewing. One year ago, we had the writing letter stream on this day, and it moved me so much. I started Oshiyu. Thank you so much for these wonderful 12 months. Oh, that's awesome. Happy anniversary for the 12-month anniversary. Thank you for coming back all this time. We're actually doing a letter writing stream next week as well. Um, Not the... We won't be writing letters to other people this time. It'll be writing letters to ourselves and doing New Year's resolutions. So that'll be, I think, next Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday the 30th we'll be doing that I've actually got my schedule for next week done but I'll share that tomorrow um but yeah that's awesome chewing thank you for rejoining for a year it's so lovely to have you as part of the community thank you for all the artwork today as well and all the suggestions thank you so much hope you enjoyed the stream I hope you enjoyed the last year and thank you for being with us in the community I love the letter writing streams yeah I want to do another one of those in the future but we definitely need to get to know people more like I feel like we didn't even do a Luna last time. A Luna, like, I know very comfortably by this point. XLA, I think I know pretty comfortably, other than... Kodaka and Meliko, I'd say I wouldn't have actually talked too much at all when it comes to XLA. I guess same for Hex as well. Hex I've talked to, like, once or twice. Um, So, yeah. And then when it comes to Crisis, I actually know Crisis better than those members of XLA. <laughs> <laughs> crisis have actually like mingled with people so freaking well i yeah i know crisis really well ttt on the other hand like i talked to them before they debuted i don't think i've talked to them since then other than me and kunai shared a couple of messages a couple of days ago um just when i came back she sent a really nice warm message to me and i like responded to her for a bit but yeah i we, we need some time to get to know the new kids <laughs> we disappeared right when they debuted right before the collab ban lifted so uh, hopefully we'll get to know them soon <laughs> jocelyn futan oh yo i can see yeah you're the one who made the frame i'm happy that you like the pfp frame i made by the way don't force yourself if you really feel uncomfortable oh don't worry about it i will stop before my tummy starts to hurt too much or anything else the fact that today it's my tummy slowing me down rather than my throat or back i consider that a win but thank you for making the cute christmas frame it's so adorable if you don't know on twitter there's a thing where you can decorate your avatar I couldn't do it because I'm not allowed to give away my permissions to Twitter. I actually had to edit the image. <laughs> I actually made the image transparent myself and put it over an avatar and re-uploaded it. But yeah, Jocelyn made a really cute little frame for people's Twitter's avatars. So you can decorate it with a little Fuchan dog sleigh and like little cute like Christmassy stuff around it. It's great. So thank you so much for that, Jocelyn. It's wonderful. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here. Cheeky sleepy. Oh my god, is that a comfy I can't tell all the time whether things are like comfy sonas or just people that like I think it is though, because the black and red jacket as well. <gasps> okay, and the eye mark. Yeah, that's a comfy sona. That's adorable. That's essentially <laughs> what the children running around in the forest are gonna look like. They do like sheep human children. So yeah. Shepherd is a daddy. Thank you for donating the food fun, Shiki Sleepy. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Please do rest well and thank you so much for being here. And thank you for having a cute little cute comfy sona avatar that I can use. Small Fox, thank you for donating the food funds. Oh, it's your food, Chan, and comfies. Every bar has such great ideas. 
I'm excited for the forest and the shepherd, and I'm hyped for the incoming months. Me too. I'm so excited. There are definitely some things where it's like deadlines are starting to come along where I'm like, oh no. Um, am I okay right now? <laughs> uh, hopefully if everything goes well, yeah. I, I realized the other day, it was like, there's no way in hell I'm finishing Legatus 505 before Archivist drops. Because hopefully Archivist should be dropping almost exactly two months. Roughly two months from now, we're hoping to have the Archivist out, so... Yeah, it felt super far away when I was talking about like three months. It's like, it's a quarter of a year. That's fucking forever. And now it's like two months and I'm like, that's eight weeks. Weeks fly by when I'm streaming. <laughs> We're practically there now. It's like, oh God. Oh, we have to work on so many things before then. Um. So yeah, hopefully that debut will go well. I'll do my best. <laughs> and then hopefully pretty shortly after that, we will have the Shepherd, but we shall see. Ah, uh, we shall see. There's so much that's going to be released for the Shepherd. Again, if you've joined the membership, you know, like, a couple of the things that are going to be happening for the Shepherd, and I'll be sharing more in the next couple of months. Just, like, little things like, hey, this is being made. That's being made. So without spoiling them, but, I mean, I, everybody now knows we're making a background exclusively for the Shepherd as well. So this right here, this is the Archivist room. Oh, my God, my sheep on here. Where are my sheep? Ah, why aren't you guys in the window? Get the think you're playing at get back in the window there we go you're in front of chat get out of here what happened to these sheep why are they being so bad learn your place there we go they escaped apparently anyway <laughs> this right here this is archivist's bedroom so this is what yeah the bedroom actually looks like the archivist lives in this is the real life one with all his collected knickknacks from streams and collected things from noctics and confidants and stuffs. So yeah, this is where he lives in the real world. The Duoverse world was essentially our original one. So like the zoomed out version of this one. I don't actually think I have it saved anymore. <laughs> but like the big old purple room, that was Legardus's like Duoverse bedroom. That's why it was so small and so unloved. It just had some plants and stuff. And then this is Archivist's bedroom where he's a bit more loved. He's got Noctics in his lives. He's got some Niki Sanji members, some other... Um, indie VTuber marks left around and references to other things. And then there's going to be the shepherd who lives in the forest, which is going to be like a high fantasy kind of world. You can put me down now, please. No, I can't. I haven't moved on. <laughs> but thank you for donating the food fund, small fox. But yeah, that's the thing. We're going to have like three different backgrounds for the three different characters. We're probably not going to go back to Legardus' background ever, but we'll use the archivist background still. And we're going to use the shepherd's background for like different things different types of streams, different thematic things. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. I'll be using all three different models. There are actually going to be some additions to the Legardus model in the future as well. As I have two new costumes coming out, which should hopefully both be out by like middle of the year. Hopefully both will be like well out by the middle of the year 2024. And I've also got another ticket, which is, it's just going to be some knickknacks. It's going to be like some toggles for things. It's going to be some other little um improvements for certain different models so yeah there's going to be a lot going on through 2024 for a while addy thank you for donating the food funds i also get tummy problems been drinking peppermint tea oh peppermint tea is really good for that and vibing with you all good day mr borgman and sheepies thank you so much addy hope you have a wonderful evening thank you for joining us and i hope your tummy feels better soon i'm sure mine will once i stretch it out a bit i need to like yeah probably walk it off do some stretching and then I'll probably be fine. Ginger tea. Ginger's more good for like inflammations, I feel like. Ginger and turmeric. Oh, those are so good for that, I think. I mean, no, ginger does help with the stomach as well. You're right. Yeah. I don't think peppermint and ginger together would be good though. <laughs> but ginger definitely helps with like, yeah, inflammation as well. 2024 is your year for 10. 2024 is going to be an amazing year creatively. Like if... I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish Legatus 505, and I want to finish it properly. Even if we have to cut out, like, some of the plot threads that I was hoping to add. Like, I've got, like, a streamlined version of, like, I, I could technically finish it in, like, six chapters if I wanted to. But what I'm hoping for is to do, like, 10 to 12 chapters, flesh it out properly, and get, like, all of the stories I wanted to do done. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to try and finish that maybe April. Somewhere between, like, February and April to May. 
Because then from May on, yeah, we're going to be moving into the shepherd story. Ginger also helps for my hyper acidity. Oh, I didn't know that. Damn, Ginger is well-rounded. Ginger does a lot. Anyway, Atti, thank you so much for donating the food funds. <laughs> Hope you have a lovely day. Thank you for being here and please rest well. Miss Jerry Lawliot, thank you for the comfy stream, Futan. I always really enjoy your drawing streams. The buff comfy Korok is the best thing I've ever seen. I am glad you enjoyed it. I will upload all those images later on Twitter. Terrible as they are. <laughs> I will share them with everybody. Share my shame. Um, and yeah. Then we'll send them all to the art. I know in particular which artist I want to send them to. It's just a question if, if they think they're going to have time to do like essentially two fully animated backgrounds within about three to four months um because they are a very busy person but we'll see if they accept then it's going to be incredible hopefully they'll put a lot of the details we want in um and yeah on membership i'll probably share like the roughs that's what i'm going to be doing in the future is set sharing like roughs that don't spoil too many things on memberships as well just so people can see like the background things that are going on so that yeah because for months i've been saying i'm working on so many things that are coming going to come out in 2024 and just like they're like hey believe me <laughs> Gamba to the artist because it's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. Especially with all the tiny little features we're going to be doing there and then animating everything. Since it's a forest, like, I don't think the tree leaves are going to be moving, like, but maybe some of the leaves in the foreground definitely will have, like, the fireflies moving and, like, the water rippling, at least to a basic level. Shit like that. Just to make it feel more lived in. And hopefully that means the nighttime scene is going to look real nice with, like, the light of the campfire illuminating things and, like, the glowy mushrooms. Hopefully it'll look nice. Um, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if my vision comes to life at all or if it's just too much. <laughs> Although the sweater said brr brr. Nah, it says ba ba. <laughs> Close enough. Anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Miss Jerry Lawlier. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Have a lovely evening and please rest well. I also got a donation from Step. I'm sorry the comfy grabber didn't grab it. It got a bit slow. But thank you for donating the food funds, Step. I hope you have a lovely day. Please rest well and take it easy. We'll figure it out. Yeah, the main thing I want is for it to feel like really realistic. Like I want it to be the world of the shepherd. So if it ends up that like we're trying to cram too much stuff into it and it feels more silly, then yeah, I'll cut out some things as we need to. But I'll try to include like a bunch of references because I love this room where everything is references. <laughs> but I mean, the forest is going to be a bit harder for that. But yeah, this room, I love it so much for that. It's just like everything is like Noctix, Danme, sci-fi, the games we've played, confidants, everything. It's just so nice. That's why it's the perfect home for the archivist who never really had family or home in his own time. So he's just surrounding himself with all his memories while he can. Sten, thank you for donating the few funds. Thank you for the wonderful stream, Futan. I always love watching confidants, arts and ideas. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the confidants did an amazing job. Especially, there were so many people who seemed to have had, like, last-minute things. So I was checking the tag yesterday, and I was like, okay, this is good. We've got, like, a good, like, 15 to 20 good entries that are really beautiful and some nice ideas. And then just over, like, the last 16 hours, so many people added things to hashtag shame call, and it was awesome. But my idea wasn't terrible. There were no terrible ideas. No idea is a bad idea. It's just there are some that won't work. I should have... Uh, I should have explained that better for people, because I do feel bad with, like people that tried to drop ideas that are like this is a reference to like something else you did and it's like that's awesome it doesn't fit with the fantasy theme like that's my bad i should have pointed that out beforehand um but yeah thank you so much for donating the food fun sten thank you for all the beautiful artwork you've been doing on twitter as well it's been lovely amma thank you for donating the food funds no message but i hope you enjoyed the stream um nope no super sticker either thank you so much for being here though and i hope you have a lovely time and we learned about corn today. Yeah, I genuinely didn't know there was red corn. That's kind of sick. And that weird, there was something bloodbath corn or something. <laughs> Murder corn. I forget its name, but it was interesting. Um, anyway, <laughs> rain jingle. Oh my God, you're already the buff confidant. <laughs> Sir Archivist in February. <laughs> We're in danger. Yeah, that's my hope. I'm not going to lie. I may fuck around a little. Well, we'll see what happens. Um... But I'm hoping to have it either by the end of February or like very early in March. Because I'm pretty sure I said this open. Yeah, I said this on my comeback stream. Yeah, the artwork. La Mama has finished the artwork for like a couple of weeks now. So it's already, it should be being rigged up. 
I hope there's not like too long of a waiting list for like the riggers. Um, but yeah, hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer. So I'll be able to like prepare for the actual debut. However, I want to do it. <laughs> so hopefully soon. And then you'll finally be able to see my true form. My grown up form. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. And oh my God. The poor comfy Korok. <laughs> he looks like he's in pain. <laughs> Annie, thank you for the huge Aka Super donation. That's so sweet of you. What is this avatar? I don't remember this being your avatar. Oh, it's a little adorable fluffy sheep. Oh, that's cute. Atsufu, I'm excited to see how the forest will be like in the future. Yeah, if you... Uh, the, the person who drew like the nighttime and daytime version, that's essentially what I majorly want from the forest. Is like something comfy, bright, and vibrant for the daytime. Lots of greens, lots of like light blues in the water, lots of sheep running around. And then the nighttime version where it's like very, very dark, but then illuminated by like campfire and like glowy fireflies and mushrooms. I imagine that rather than my shitty doodles. <laughs> and what other people drew, like Hoo Hoo's beautiful, um, full on like forest image. And there were a couple of other people who drew like full on forests. Um, imagine those. I'm going to send the artist like a bunch of those as well and be like, things like this, please. Uh, I don't think I'm even going to send them my layout image. I think my layout image was kind of trash. <laughs> I'll just send them like the general idea, the coloring that I want between the like the nighttime and the daytime style, and then followed with like a bunch of different ideas and references. Then, then I'll use my art and the art from people on Twitter as well um, and just be like, Here's a bunch of things you could put there if it fits. If not, don't worry about it. Sten's night slash day. I think it was Sten that did the, uh, the very bright daytime one and the very illuminated nighttime one, which is nice. Boohoo's was fun, but also cursed. Very fitting. Yeah, that's also what we want. We want it to be like, oh, this would be such a comfy place. And then you notice that like <laughs> the giant axe and the blood spill on the tree stump and the, the sheep skull in the shame corn and the eyes poking out of the tree and shit like that so i mean we got to defend ourselves and the sheep milk too oh yeah some things be a bit weird around there too <laughs> anyway sorry since i'm not sure if i'll be here tomorrow i just want to say merry christmas to you in advance oh shit tomorrow's karaoke is it at tomorrow's gonna be fun that'll be a pretty short stream as well because like i said even though i grabbed like every christmas song i could find um, I realized that most Christmas songs are like two to three minutes long. So <laughs> even though I've got like 15 of them, that still only adds up to like an hour. <laughs> uh, actually, I miss you merry every day instead, as you deserve all the health and happiness no matter what. Aw, honey, thank you so much. Only thing I can say back to that is reverse Uno. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Thank you so much for being so sweet. Happy holidays, whichever one you celebrate, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, wonderful New Year. Thank you so much for being here, and I hope everything goes perfectly as you want it. Thank you so much. Please rest well and have a lovely evening. Don't you reverse me, chat. I reverse you, damn it. Maybe get my... Come to think of it. Oh, I have better than the gun. <laughs> this. This is the kind of relationship we have here. I better put my jacket on. This looks weird without the jacket um yeah that looks better <laughs> delicious mutton okay there we go nice and comfy why you like this why you guys like you had to reverse uno on me i didn't start shit you guys started the shit i just ended it with a knife and not the knife from cooking companions yet Cataclysm. I love the cozy ideas that came from this stream. I love the cozy ones and the cursed ones. <laughs> I've been imagining you playing the shepherd in Animal Crossing, getting all the sheep villagers. Are there more than one sheep villager? I always just assumed in Animal Crossing there'd be like one for each type of animal. What does confidant meat taste like? Just have some lamb. That's just, yeah, it's delicious lamb. But I'm bringing a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. It's the only way it's an equal fight between me and confidants. Look at them out that window. Pathetic. Pathetic. There's several. There are many sheep. I didn't know that. <laughs> that shows how much I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> There's a clown sheep? Okay, that sounds sick. 
<laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Cataclysm. Maybe, nah. I don't think I'd ever play Animal Crossing on stream. I think if anything, it would end up leading to me just playing Rune Factory. I have been thinking about Rune Factory a lot recently. It was funny because the other day I was like, ah, oh, but I heard Rune Factory 5 is so bad. It's a shame. And then I, and since then, I've still been thinking like, oh, I kind of want to play it. <laughs> I kind of want to try it. I kind of want a game like that. Like maybe after we finish Tears of the Kingdom where it's like, I want something else long form that's just basically Zatsudan with something in the background. I feel like Rune Factory would be okay for that. Even if 5 is a bit worse than 4, I could try 5. See how it goes. <laughs> Thank you for donating the Food Funds Cataclysm. Have a lovely evening. There's a couple of new ones coming out soon as well. That are like cozy farming simulator stuffs. Death Stranding? Nah. I did want to play Death Stranding before number two came out. I'm not sure if I'm still going to do that. We'll see. Uh, that is a very long game. <laughs> Whereas other ones that don't have story, at least Death Stranding has story. So you kind of want to like start and then finish that one. We'll see. How close are we to the end in Tears of the Kingdom? Oh, nowhere near. We've got two more Divine Beasts. We've got like the entire underground to explore. Um, I called them Divine Beasts, but two more dungeons. We've got a lot to do. <laughs> We're going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom for a few more months. FF8. I do want to play FF8 someday. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, this is what I mean. There's a lot of things that I want to do. And at the same time, I don't want to lock myself into too many long games at the same time. I only want to be doing like one long, long game at a time. Like anything that's over like 20 hours, I only want to have one on the channel. <laughs> you may hire. I've been in bed listening to all the ideas. So cozy with Fushan's voice in the background. Very excited to see the final product. TY for the stream, Fushan. Thank you so much. Like I said, the final product won't be out for like months. <laughs> so yeah, this is very much like a, we've designed this and now we need to let the actual artists do their work. Parfait stream coming soon. Yeah, that's either going to, it's not this coming week. So a lot of people get confused when I say like next week and the week after. So it's not going to be this coming week as in new uh, the week between Christmas and New Year's. It might be the week after that or at latest the week after that. So if you've got any ideas for like images, uh, pictures to take with your comfy pape, um, feel free to start taking them now. You've got like maximum, like I'll definitely do it on a weekend. So max minimum, you've got two weeks. Uh, maximum, you've got three weeks. So yeah, early January. Yeah, it will either be, because I've got my next week planned out. So it'll either be like the 6th of January, that weekend or the 13th of January. One of those two. Um, yeah, get your pictures ready. At the beginning of the week when I announce my schedule, I'll put up like a hashtag and yeah, we'll go through them at the end of the week because that'll definitely be like a Saturday stream. What about a date with death? <laughs> Look forward to my schedule tomorrow. <laughs> uh, thank you for donating the food funds you may hire. I'm glad you had such a comfy stream. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take it easy and yeah, catch you next time. Midin, what's your foo? I'm already looking forward to what the finished for forest will look like. So excited for the coming year. It's really going to be your year. It'll be our year. It'll be the confidence year. Yeah. Remember, this coming week on the stream, I want you guys writing your own letters to yourselves as well. You don't have to set New Year's resolutions, but write some letters to yourself. That'll be nice to actualize some thoughts. Just be like, hey, hope you're doing good. Here's what I hope for you and see if we can achieve those things. I want it to be all of confidence this year, 2024. Thank you for donating the food funds. Mirin, have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for being here and please rest well. The UI will, thank you. You don't actually have to. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. I'll definitely be writing letters to myself for like one year from now, five years from now, and like 20 years from now. The 20 years from now one will just probably be like, yo, you alive? Shit, I'm surprised. Well, you're doing good then, bye. <laughs> But yeah, like the one year one will be like, hey, did you do this? Did you do that? Remember this? Remember that? And the five year one will probably be more like, huh, what are you up to now? <laughs> I wonder. Anyway, bum, 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 Luther, thank you so much for donating the few fans. Sheeps are going to have magic. So can we create magic spells by ourselves? Like, ba, guardian, ba, ba, <laughs> no, god damn it. Wingardium Leviosa, but with bars. 
that's what I was thinking of for the magic system. Not not that, but having like an ancient language, which is like the true language of like the earth in the shepherd's world. I'm thinking of that kind of magic where like every object and every person and every spirit has like a true name. And if you figure out the true name, you can control it essentially. <sighs> we'll see though. We've got lots of time to think about it. Like I said, we're going to be doing a lot of um, world building together. Irish. Unfortunately, I do not know enough Irish. <laughs> like in Aragon. Yeah, similar to Aragon, but with like full-on sentences. Um, like if you... <sighs> fuck, I come back to this a lot. I still think that Loveless, <laughs> despite everything that everyone hates about it, I still think that Loveless's battle system of literally essentially having poetry slams against each other is a really fucking cool idea. <laughs> And so I would like that to be the kind of magic system where essentially if you know the ancient language, you know enough about it, you can twist words enough, you can use like poetic prose and stuff. Ah. <laughs> you basically just slam poetry against each other, but at the same time, you're hurling giant chunks of earth and like shattering them and transforming them into butterflies and throwing back fireballs and bringing up a wall of water while you just like casually say some poetic shit. It's a rap battle. It's a poetry battle, damn it. Isn't that also Hitmic? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I know Hitmic's like that. I've never watched Hitmic. So, possibly. <laughs> Loveless did it better, is what I'm going to say. Loveless did it like 20 years ago. <laughs> I still always thought that was a really freaking cool idea. But yeah, Aragorn definitely had that kind of thing as well, where like everything had a true name, which actually, yeah, comes from... A bunch of different like ancient Celtic roots. <sighs> Lemon water. Anyway, <laughs> we can have something like a magic school too. Well, there's not gonna be a magic school. Um, the forest is its own little kind of thing. Don't worry about it. You'll find out in a couple of months. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I gave away too much about the sheeps as is. In general, they're sheeps. But they're also cute. Thank you for donating the food funds, Luthier. Also, the shepherd most certainly does not specialize in magic. Um, he would know some magic, but yeah, he doesn't specialize in it like other like wizards and sorcerers would. He's more of a stabby stab. <laughs> Key Diva, Vox's broken controller. Random facts for Foo. Mexico has 64 races of corn, of which 59 can be considered native. Main colors are blue, yellow, Black, red, and white. That's fucking sick. I genuinely, until this day, thought corn was only pure yellow. I, there's white corn. There's black corn. Seeing the red one was crazy. The, I need to look up blue corn. That sounds cursed to me. Blue corn. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cursed. I don't like that. <laughs> it's blue in the way that... I guess blueberries are that color as well. It's like almost black. It's very dark. It's awesome. But not on corn. They're pretty. <laughs> I like the ones with like blue and white. Those are nice. The actual like pure blue ones. It just... It looks fake. You know what it looks like? Final Fantasy fourteen. The grapes. Blue corn looks like Final Fantasy fourteen grapes. In fact, let me Google the FF14 grapes. Yeah, pretty much spot on. Pretty much spot on. That's what I don't like about them. When they're pure blue, they don't... The texture doesn't look real. It, I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, when it's pure blue, it looks like it's not 3D. It looks like it's 2D and then drawn on. I don't know why. <laughs> But just Google blue corn and see if you know what I mean. And the ones where there's like different colors, there's like blues and whites and stuff is okay. But when it's all like pretty much the same shade of blue, it just doesn't look real to me. The low poly slander. I have no problem with the FF14 grapes. I'm just saying. It's what blue corn looks like to me. Well, that's cool to know. I didn't know there were so many different types of corn. Sick. Thank you for letting me know, Kitifa. Oh God, I should have looked up blue corn earlier. That's awesome. Um, Kushami, I, this one did not get grabbed by the comment grabber either. I'm going to restart the comfy grabber. But thank you so much for donating the food funds. 
If new room not have window, you can't shut us out. No, unfortunately. The shepherd lives alongside his sheep. He does have a cabin. He could shut you guys. Well, it's a pretty simplistic cabin. You guys could definitely get in. Especially through the chimney. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> We've got plans for that window anyway. There, there, there are plans for that window. White corn is used for corn soup. So... Blue is unappetizing in color psychology too. Which is weird, because I mean... If I see bright blue, like I see a bright blue drink and I'm like, that's gonna be delicious. What a strange comment. <laughs> Sorry. I saw this comment written in its own special <laughs> font as well. I'm dying right now of happiness and love because of myself and mysterious. Okay. <laughs> Random. Interesting. I hope you're having a good time in the stream. Anyway. <laughs> Is that smoke? It's just sheep pile in the chimney. Oh god, if they clog up the chimney. That'll be a good way to die of smoke inhalation. Ugh. Blue curry is not the most appetizing one. I'd eat it though, because I'd just imagine people just put food dye in it. Like, you know, like the hook food, the whole like imaginary food that all the lost boys would eat. That shit always looked good to me, even though I'm pretty sure it was just Play-Doh with different colors in it. <laughs> blue food is rarely found in nature, I guess. And a lot of blue food is poisonous, like deadly nightshade. Is nightshade technically blue or purple nightshade? Yeah, it's more of a purple. It's just very fucking dark purple to the point of it almost being black anyway. Um, but that's like one of the worst fucking poisons. Blue food. Uh. Oh, at least blueberries are nice. <laughs> blueberries are the one blue food you can always count on. I know blue raspberries don't actually exist. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, distractions again. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. The, the, the super chats, right? My brain. Um. Oh shit, Lala! Thank you for donating more for the food funds. You, oh, you did a little mini rainbow. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a lot. And it even says, "Have a good day." Oh, thank you so much. I am having a good day. Hope you're having a wonderful day too. Thank you so much for joining us. Blue cheese exists. You realize blue cheese is just literally cheese with blue mold on it, though, right? <laughs> like, blue cheese isn't technically blue until the mold starts to grow, and then technically the mold is the blue part, so. Blue mold is tasty. It, it do be tasty. It, it, it'd be very fragrant and pungent as well. I could go for just a fucking wheel of cheese right now. Where do you buy a wheel? Let me Google this. I want a wheel of cheese. I could just, well, no, it'll go off long before I finish it. Can you buy wheels of cheeses nowadays? You can. $3,000. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> okay, this one. 200, 900. Wow. Okay, that is a lot of cheese though. Wheel of Parmigiano Reggiano. Cost 3K. <laughs> Parmigiano Reggiano 900. Oh my, wow. Okay, so apparently wheels of cheeses are for like the cheese aficionados, the cheese like snobs. Go ahead and buy a whole wheel of cheese. Okay. I mean, I've only ever seen one in like the Hobbit movie, but it just looks very satisfying to like cut a slice like pie style out of a wheel of cheese and then just throw it on a piece of bread. Anyway, <laughs> just snatch one in Switzerland. Where is it? Is it Switzerland that does that whole like festival where they roll cheat roll wheels of cheese down a hill? Because honestly, you ever hungry, you just you just go to that place, wait at the bottom of the hill for the cheese to come down and just steal it and run. So like, fuck, I've got cheese for the next year. <laughs> oh my god. Take a bite from a whole wheel? That'd be horrible. That's like when you take a bite from like a fruit roll up rather than unrolling it. That's the that's the UK. God, I feel like a fucking idiot now. <laughs> the, lact the lactose intolerant sheep are having scary moments on a wheel of cheese. Don't eat it, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like people being like, sir, I'm a vegan. Why do you keep talking about lamb? It's like, just don't eat it. <laughs> I'm allowed to eat it. 
<laughs> Take one of those lactose intolerant pills. <laughs> you can join us that way. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> That's what lactose intolerant pills are for. I was like, it's fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> might have some stomach trouble but as long as it's worth it <laughs> claudines thank you for donating the food funds and after the shepherd ate plenty of sheep the remaining sheep came through the chimney at night to abduct and eat the shepherd before he would eat them too it was the most delicious they had ever eaten <gasps> and then they got a taste for man flesh that creates a story all of its own <laughs> i could do that you know what that might be next year's main halloween story the confidants finally get their revenge on the shepherd. Well, the shepherd's actually good. The confidants finally get the revenge on the archivist, I guess. Man flesh sounds wrong. No, it doesn't. Man meat sounds wrong. Man flesh. If you hear flesh and you imagine anything dirty, like adult related, that's on you. Flesh that like you should be imagining like flayed flesh, like skin. Not anything like sexual anyway. <laughs> it's 18 plus, but in a different way. Man flesh sounds fine. Man eating sheep. That sounds like a good horror story. I think there was like a movie called Black Sheep in the UK, which was about an evil sheep killing a bunch of people. Oh, I think they also like took mushrooms at that point as well. Though. And they were imagining the black sheep doing like some insane shit. I never watched that movie. I just remember everyone talking about it when I was like a teenager. <laughs> Call that Man Flesh United. I know that's a reference to Manchester United. It's just, no. I think horror movies when I hear the word flesh. Yeah, exactly. I imagine like a nice chunk of flesh ripped out of something. I don't imagine anything dirty. If you say man meat, yeah. Then I imagine someone doing like a helicopter. I don't know why I did it. Anyway, um, Chimney, before you, thank you for donating the food funds, Claudines. That sounds like the start to an amazing horror story. So down. Auntie DeSona, can already imagine the future fate of our forest? Don't trash them, please. We take good care of it. We demand comfort. Did it not sound comfortable? There's so many adorable ideas going into this. It should be a lot of fun. We just gotta... We can't have it too comfy. The hot tub idea? That was too much. Unless we were cooking sheep, which we could do much easier by first cutting them up and then just throwing them into a nice little pot. Anyway... <laughs> Anyways, happy holidays. Wishing you and Sheepies all the goodness for next year. You too. Happy holidays, Auntie DeSoto. I hope you have a wonderful 2024. We're definitely going to have a happy 2024 on this channel. So many things I'm excited for. I'm not going to lie. Did you guys see the absolutely incredible <coughs> scale figures that are coming out? Uh, Mackenzie Zotocat, just for future reference. Yeah, just feel free to ask me a question. You don't have to ask if you can ask a question. But yeah, did you guys see the scale models? They show they showed like the prototypes for Luca, Albin, and Enna. They look so fucking good. They're so detailed. I'm not gonna lie. Even when they announced them, I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. I didn't expect them to be anywhere near as detailed as they are. Especially the poses. Albin's pose is so dramatic. Luca has the booba, and his hair is on another fucking level, and the winky face. They look fantastic. And the first, like this, no. That was the first thought I had. The second thought I had, for one thing, like they're doing volumes, so I'm sure they'll get through every member of Nijisan Ian eventually. Um, but yeah, the second thought I had was, <gasps> I'm so glad I'm not volume one or two. Like I haven't even been talked about them yet, so I don't think I'm like in any of like the next several volumes. I'll be around there someday, I'd imagine. But yeah, the, that, that was my second thought was I'm glad it's going to take a while because I'm like, I want a shepherd figure. <laughs> I, uh, I don't want a Legata scale figure. I want a shepherd scale figure. <laughs> oh, God. You, you guys will understand when you see the model. Anyway, that yeah, that was my thought. It was just like, hey, maybe when they get to me, I can be like, uh, could I have this one instead? Maybe. <laughs> but yeah no they look so freaking cool so far the amount of detail on them is incredible i yeah i can't wait to see everyone else's as well i think next up is shu and alira right yeah shu and alira are coming out together but yeah shoes should be incredible shoes model is so fucking detailed depending on which look they use for alira as well which pose they go for ah oh, can't wait to see all of them anyway thank you for donating the food funds auntie disono 
Those looked incredible. Um, a figure with both would be nice. Yeah, but the fact that we're getting figures at all is like pretty freaking incredible. Um, those take a shit ton of work. So yeah, I'm not like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be like, hey, can I have one for each of my looks? I'd just be like, if I get the choice, it's gonna be Shepard, just 100%. <laughs> Noctix boys, hell yeah. Albin's already looks incredible. Man, the pose he's doing is so good. Um, yes, his Anukis will look great as well. There's a lot of people in Niji Sanji and have, have like full on incredible designs. But yeah, in figure form, they're gonna look great. Bum, bum, bum. Did I miss the forest designing? Yeah, unfortunately. Um, I'll upload the pictures after this. I only drew a few of my own. But other artists on Twitter did incredible jobs. And so now I can finally send this all to the people that I want to make the background. And yeah, see if they're okay with it. If they think they can do it in the right amount of time. It's going to be a lot for them. So we'll see. Uh, do, do, do. Noctix Nendos are cute. Nobody in Noctix has an Android. All of... What's that name? Luxium are now going to have Nendroids. Because Vox already had one. And yeah, they just announced the other three members are going to get Nendroids. Uh, what Noctix have are the Palverse ones, which are pretty damn cute. Adorable little tiny chibi figures. Um, yeah, we have the Palverse ones, so the Lazuli and... I think it was Crisis and Etheria getting them. They just announced them. There was a, a lot announced at Nijifest. Nijifest did a lot. <laughs> Palverse one is so cute. Yeah, they're adorable little chibis. I love, like, the size of their head and the size of their eyes. They look like little children's. Crisis, yeah, I thought that was it. Crisis and Etheria are getting them, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of people getting like Palverse figures. Um, Luxium have Nendroids. It looks like they're eventually going to do all of us in scale figures. I hope. I hope. <laughs> we'll see. But at least there's a volume one and two covered out. So five of the 30 whatever amount of us there are already on the way. Victory M, thank you so much for donating the few funds. So excited for the entirely safe, sanitary and comfortable forest. Thank you. I feel so secure. See, it's definitely safe. It's definitely comfortable. Is it sanitary? I mean, there's a whole bunch of woods. This is the thing. Why do we need a toilet when we're in the forest? Literally, if you walk like half a mile in any direction, the world is your the world is your toilet. And I mean, it's ancient times anyway, so it's not like they had toilet roll so leaves are your best option we'll make holes yeah obviously you dig a little hole and then bury it every time i'll help with clean, clean up deity kindred and on you could <laughs> you don't have to do that everyone can dig their own little hole and then bury it so that's unsanitary no it's not it's good for the environment it's fertilizer we discovered this earlier how do we wipe yeah leaves preferably the right leaves if you use poison ivy oh you're gonna have a bad time for the next few days Possibly the next few weeks. I don't know how long Poison Ivy lasts. The world is full of toilets. So true. So true. <laughs> just sad that it won't let me put my question that I want to answer. You can just ask the question as long as it doesn't break the rules. Make sure you read the rules at the bottom of the stream. Amy Townsend, thank you so much for donating the few funds. I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Aw, thank you so much for donating the few funds, Amy Townsend. Some people can't squat. Hmm. Perhaps we should have little tree stump toilets too then. Then we'd have to dig a hole under the tree stump. You know what? If you guys want to make an outhouse like in the forest, you can. There you go. You can make your own outhouses. We just don't want them in the background. We'll just like move those out of frame when we take a picture for the... In fact, you know what? If you want to imagine that, anytime you see the shepherd in the future... There will, oh, that's why you keep getting timed out, Mackenzie. Read my channel rules. They're at the bottom of every video in the description. Do not bring up other livers. Okay, with that said. Um, yeah, anytime you see this shepherd with the forest behind him, just imagine that there's a giant glorious toilet right in front of him. So it's outside of frame. You can't see it in frame, but there's a toilet there. There's an outhouse there. It's just, you know... We didn't want that drawn, so I stand right next to the outhouse so it doesn't get in the picture. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> like those Roman group toilet rooms? Please no. <laughs> they sound so horrible. 
Uh, at least it isn't a vomitorium. That could be worse. Love your imagination. Fuchan never change. Well, we, don't, we just don't want that in the frame. We just, we hide it. So he's staring at it. He could be staring at it. It could be like just to the side of him. Like if you imagine, what can I use? What have I got? Oh, this will work. If you imagine this fishbowl full of confidants as the toilet, the toilet's like off to the side, but then so far forward, like so far forward that it's behind the camera. So it just, you know, goes boop, behind the camera. So yeah, just slightly to the side and right next to me. Why us? A uh, similar smell. I figured this would be a similar smell to the outhouse. The pile of confidants. <laughs> it's bowl shaped so it works. Yeah, I mean, technically. This could be below the hour. <laughs> Chamber pot style. <laughs> Sir. Hey, look, one of them's dead. You can't imagine that smells very good. One of those is dead. A couple of them are suffocating. Um, We're going to put that away. In fact, it's fine. You guys didn't hear shit, okay? Dun, 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 dun. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes. You didn't hear shit. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Erase that last 30 seconds from your memory. Okay. Look down. Back up at me. I'm not threading your confidant. Look to the side. Now back at me. I'm wearing an adorable Christmas jumper. Look down. Back at me. I'm giving you the thumbs up. You did good, champ. Down and back. Okay. Welcome back to the chat, y'all. Anyway, how could we remove that from our brains? Bleach? I'd imagine if you ingest enough bleach. Don't don't ever go near bleach in any way other than for cleaning. I don't ever mix chemicals. I actually knew somebody who fucked up their lungs because they kept mixing different chemicals and didn't know they were unwittingly creating small amounts of mustard gas, essentially. Never mix cleaning chemicals. You'd be surprised how some of those can fuck you up. Anyway, Amy Townsend, that was a really sweet message. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. I'm sorry I've had that up throughout this entire fucked up conversation. Have a lovely evening and rest well. Take it easy. Small Fox, sir, may I ask if the shepherd will have the 3.0? No, unfortunately. This is one of the unfortunate things that happens when you wait for your costume for two years. Yeah, the 3.0 got applied to the Legardus model. So, I mean, like I've said, Archivist and Shepard, they, they have the same face as each other. It's a different face from me. So, yeah, they won't have 3.0. They will only have 2.0. Which is okay. It's fine. Maybe someday we'll get the 3.0 for them too. But yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating the few funds, Small Fox. I hope you have a lovely evening. Still great. Yeah, nah, it's 100% worth it just to have the new models, have the new looks, my more personalized look. Should be fun. Clowny, thank you for donating through funds. As a knitter, I will be terrorizing all sheepies in the forest lovingly. I'm so excited for Shepard and Archivist. Save me, old man. Old man, save me. They will be old man. This is true. I'm glad you're going to look forward to them. I hope you enjoy them. I'm not sure how people will feel about them. Um, we shall see. I like them. I'm going to be using them a lot. So yeah, people will kind of have to get used to them. <laughs> but I love them. The face is perfect and I can't wait to see the full entirety of the shepherd. But yeah, feel free to attack those sheepies. Shear them. Take their wool. Make some things to knit. And then we can have some more ugly Christmas jumpers. <laughs> I still love how cute this outfit is. Look at... You got like little, well, let me take off this. You got a little, little cat with a C to the left looking adorable and doofy. And then you got cat to the right with a K. Pure psycho bitch energy. <laughs> and then all the confidants in the forest. Perfect. Do you love them? There's a high chance I love them. I hope so. If nothing else, it'll be different. Different's always fun. Alicia the Heart. Hi, Futsan. I continue to learn new things from you, Futsan. Adding confidant toilet dynamics to my list. <laughs> You're an interesting teacher, Fuchan. No problem. I'm glad you enjoyed that. <laughs> Honestly, confidant toilet habits, not that bad. Like I said, 
The world is your toilet. Uh, I mean, we're in a fantasy setting. We're not going to do that JK Rowling bullshit of being like, oh, they magic it away. They don't need toilets because they cast flipendo. They cast a feces eradicatus. Ah, fuck that shit. Everybody poops. Poop has to go somewhere. They don't have indoor plumbing yet, so you know. We roll in that shit. Literally. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I hate how funny that shit is to me. <laughs> like, anytime I have to, like, clean up dog shit, I'm always like, ah, oh, here we go with this shit again. <laughs> Literally. Anyway. Um, Lollipop, thank you for donating the food funds. Long time no see, Futan. Bye, 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 you. Ah, oh, it's lovely to have you here again today, Lollipop. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I've been gone for a while. But I'm glad to be back. Thank you for donating the food funds. This reminds me of Shansha Toilet Law. Okay, what is the Shansha Toilet Law? I don't think I've ever heard that. <laughs> Didn't Harry Potter have toilets? Yeah, it was one of those things where like JK Rowling just decided to self-insert herself again and be like, did you know back before they had indoor plumbing at Hogwarts, every student would just teleport their poop away. They didn't know where it went. They just teleported it away. They just got rid of it. They just, wherever they were, they would just shit on the floor and then teleport it away. That is something that J.K. Rowling said. And this is another of the many reasons that I believe in the phrase death of the author. Not in the literally kill someone way. <laughs> but I refuse to believe that as my canon. <laughs> so yeah. Once an author has finished writing a book series, they should just stay the fuck away from it and let people do their own thing like fan fiction and fan art. and Yeah. <laughs> Stories that don't involve teleporting poop. <laughs> she she did that a lot. Like suddenly deciding certain characters were certain ways as well. Just being like, I didn't write it in the story, but I always meant it. And it was like, okay, of course you did. Of course you did. <sighs> anyway, death of the author is important. Okay. <laughs> hey, we ate it. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Wacom fund, because at this point you've been doing more drawings than me, who is an art student. Yes, but it's all about the quality. I can do a hundred horrible quality draw horrible quality drawings, and they're not worth one decent quality drawing. As long as people have fun with them, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds, Aweator. And yeah, no. I I think I actually had a drawing tablet once. I have no idea where it is nowadays. <laughs> Which tells you how many times I used it. Kushavi, Futsan, you know, underneath that tweet about the sandbags, there's a video of an actual sandbag with your picture on it. What? I'm finding this. Bum, bum, bum. I have to reopen so many closed tabs to get back to my Twitter. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's find this punching bag. <gasps> Yo! Satsuki, thank you for... Oh, you drew the tree stump with the axe on it. Oh, yo. And somebody posted up like... Oh, Mushishi stuff. <laughs> oh, and Satsuki also added the comfy... The sheep pile. You fucking legend. Thank you so much. That is going to help the artist who has to draw these things so much. And Morphe did the signpost. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so... Aww. Honestly, that, that's got to, like, so much increase our odds of getting what we want in the forest. Because <laughs> I don't have to send them my terrible ones. I could send them decent drawings and be like, something like this somewhere around there? Thank you. Aw. Okay. I'll wait a couple of days before I send things just in case any more of those come in. But that's so nice. Let me find this punching bag. I want to see me getting beaten up in live action style. Hope I can share it on stream. <laughs> what happened to the punching bag? Oh. Oh, it was one of the ones that was age-gated. That's funny. Oh my god. Where did you get a Christmas theme of me to put on a punch? That's impressive. Okay, one second. Let me share this with you guys. Wait. Well, it doesn't need the music if you did have music. Where's my OBS? There we go. Let me go back to here real quick. Um... right shit why isn't this working so, oh that's why okay 
perfect. Here, yeah, it's me in Christmas version. <laughs> the ON Cafe thing on a punching bag. Having the shit knocked out of me. <laughs> I like how Atsu Chen specifically aims for the face as well. And there's no hit in the body. There's no hit in the sheep. No, they specifically wait for it to rotate to get me in the face. Bang! But, oh no, they hit the sheep once in the stomach and then they go back for the face again. <laughs> well played. Those are good connections. That bounced around quite a bit. <laughs> That's fucking adorable. It's only when the face comes around. No, they hit they hit the robo dart once, which makes sense. I can understand why confidence would be angry at the robo dart getting uppies. Um but yeah, that was adorable. Thank you for pointing that out. I did not know that was there. <laughs> It's a revenge since you won't give us uppies. Well, now I even less want to give you uppies. What are you going to do? Punch me in the face? Sounds like I shouldn't keep you anywhere near my face. <gasps> oh my god. And June, thank you so much for donating the food funds. God damn it. It's another one the comfy grabber didn't grab. Oh, it did. June, thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message. Was it a super chat? Let me check. It was not. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you have a lovely evening and please rest well. If we get uppies, it'll be easier. That's what I'm saying. I ain't lifting you guys up closer to my face. Do I look like an idiot? Don't answer that. But I'm not dumb enough to bring you closer to my face when you're talking about punching me. <laughs> Nathaniela, thank you so much for donating the food funds. The message got deleted by a moderator. That's rare. <laughs> I wonder what was said in that. But thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Rest well and take it easy. Man shouldn't ask. Yeah. It's better not to know most of the time. It's better not to know. Let's pretend everything is going smooth. But it's Christmas. We should get uppies. No. Only this confidant gets uppies. This little bleep bleep on my mug. So that I can drink hot cocoa. Mods can delete super chats. Yeah, if they break the rules. That's a very important thing. I can delete super chats too. Can we answer? Maybe. You can, but that's even more reason I won't be giving. Yeah, yeah, none of that. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss for sure. Okay, with that said, that's about where I'm going to wrap up this stream. Holy shit, we almost did four hours. And my tummy is feeling much better. My back, on the other hand, is getting tight. God, I hate being an old man. But it is what it is. We're going to be back tomorrow at the same time. So starting at 10 a.m. EST. A midnight JST or a bunch of other time zones. I don't know. We're going to be singing Christmas karaoke. And it's going to be unarchived. So if you want to hear me butcher some Christmas songs. Be there on time. Or it will not be saved. And as I normally do with karaoke's. We'll probably kick off immediately with a big song. So yeah. Be there on time. If possible. <laughs> nice seeing the stream duration slowly raise yeah we did like five and a, did we do five and a half hours the other day i think we did and yeah i'm not in like any terrible pain right now it's just like this will be good this is a good time to end um and we got one more super chat oh no let me try to grab that before we disappear perfect merry christmas and have a nice day oh my god look at that cow emoji is that what what is that sheep doing? <laughs> I can't even tell. It looks like he's crying or he's just very tired. <laughs> Thank you so much for donating the food funds. Hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will be streaming on Christmas as well. Um, I think my next break is until either. I think it's Wednesday. We've got a few more streams before I take a break. Smoochy face with closed eyes. I guess, oh yeah, the lips are tiny. It's little puckered lips between the eyes. Ew. Okay, Tiehua, here. You can kiss the other sheep. <laughs> little sheep kisses for Tiehua. Thank you for donating the food funds. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please rest well. Take it easy. Thank you, every. Oh, there was one more. Shit. <laughs> Try Princess. Thank you for donating the food funds. This is the last one, right? Yeah, okay. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to Folgrin Confidants. Yay! And thank you. It's, yeah, it's very rare for Tri Princess to drop a message, even though they always drop um, donations. So thank you so much. It's lovely to have you here, Tri Princess. 
Merry Christmas to you too. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for being here. Rest well and have a lovely evening. Okay. We're heading out. We're disappearing. We're going back to the forest. I'll catch you guys tomorrow at the normal time. I will be dropping my... Um, words. Schedule. I'll be dropping my schedule tomorrow as well. <laughs> so look forward to that. As always, do not be led astray my confidants. And I... We'll catch you guys next time. Oh shit, yeah, the chat's broken here. Um, the membership were broken and the chat is broken today. It's been a weird day. <laughs> the big chat works, but the small chat, not sure. Let me grab the big chat. Sorry. Saw nothing. And as always, I'd like to say a special thank you to everybody who joined the membership today, including Rieya, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Maru Maru, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Swedish Meatballs. Michelle Tang. Yep, Michelle Tang. Sorry, I almost read that wrong. Lee, 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 Lee. Auntie Disono. Raffinus. Lee Yi, Mary, Minto, Maybe I'm a Lion, Mim Mim, Choco, Yumi, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Star Jelly, Seri, thank you so much for the five gifted membership, Ah, Nya Nya, Rin, Agi Chan, Behind Zero, thank you so much for the gifted. Mao Tian, Joyce Lie, Ying, Momo Bai, Nikki Bells, Mr. Peanut, Uri Uri, Checkball, Blanc, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. That's so many. Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you so much for donating so many membership. Rest well and take it easy. Buzu Dao, Secret Life of Anna. Sea Moon 39, Saint Chumimi In, Alvin Yu, Kira Soriano, Little Penguin, Leon, Alicia the Heart, Laverna, Catherine Petra, Ling Shen, Michaela, Okay. La 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 bidoo. <laughs> I don't know why, but I read that as like the the, the Luxium song. Da 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 bidoo. La 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 bidoo. <laughs> Nana Taro. M. Jane, thank you so much for the gifted. Zora. Isayama Anna. Anz. Renault Paper. Suki, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a lovely evening. Ishi Lover, thank you so much for the gifted. Clear Bubble. Aru. Ezlo the Wizard. CHY, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a lovely evening. Ayakashi kun. 85 Cheetah Baby. Dada. Vitae, AC, Jacqueline, Naki Kitsune, Ban Tang Hong Cha, Anya S, Umi, Achan, Easy. And Lala, thank you so much for the 50 gifted membership right at the beginning of the stream. Hope you had a lovely day. Hope you rest well. Thank you so much for being part of this community. Thank you so much for the rainbow supers too. Have a lovely evening. It's so many gifted. Oh my god, thank you. Nachos. Please call me Carmen. Kiona. Yo, no, sorry. Distorted dimension. Yeah. 
Yanez, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Khan. Shinru. Kayuri? I think it's Kayu Kayuri. Let me check to be sure. Yep, Kayuri. 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 <laughs> Apollonaut. Satoshi, thank you so much for the 10 gifted membership. Hope you had a lovely day. Thank you so much for being here. D Day. Evol Pu. Yu Ling. Tie Hua. Brian. And Jin, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a lovely evening. Please do rest well. Thank you for joining us. Why is this one? There we go. Chao Chao Ren, the Shao Yu Zhuo. Superman's little universe. Leaf. Realm, thank you so much for the five gifted member cheap. And M. Jane, thank you for the gifted. <laughs> and Lala, thank you for 50 more gifted membership. 100 gifted membership and a rainbow super. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you enjoy whatever the forest ends up looking like in its finalized form. <laughs> and Luthier, thank you so much for the gifted membership right at the beginning as well. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you had a fun time. I certainly did. I cannot wait to see what kind of forest we get at the end. I hope it's as beautiful as we're all hoping. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. As usual, I will be back tomorrow at the usual time of 10 a.m. EST. So do not be led astray, my confidants. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>